What's going on everybody? David here with another live stream. I wasn't coming on live today, but I decided, you know, I've, I've been sitting in front of this computer most of the, most of the night, just uh, trying to update some things. So uh, because of that, I said, you know what, I'm going to jump on. We can test this stuff out a little bit as well as uh, we can do some talks, some travel, travel credit card talks. So uh, that's the reason I jumped in. So as you guys come in, just let me know you're here just by saying what's up. Uh, give me a little thumbs up emoticon or, or something uh, just so I can give you a shout out. And please, please hit the like button so we can get uh, more people in here. Uh, I know it's going to be a struggle tonight. It's a little late, especially on the East Coast. Uh, so 
Uh, plus, it's Sunday, too, so people are getting ready to, for work uh, on Monday. So, yes, just uh, please hit the like button. That way we can bring some more people in. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we got a couple of new people that just subscribed within the last hour. And we have Simply Selena. Simply Selena, thank you for subscribing. And I believe that's, I believe it's a, it's a woman, <laughs> Simply Selena. You're, uh, you're down there right below in the, in the lower thirds there. So uh, thank you for subscribing. And Aaron Jensen, so he subscribed prior to... Uh, prior to the show. So uh, thank you for subscribing. All right, guys. Uh, so we're, what we're going to do, actually, Mike Moto, he subscribed today as well. So thank you, Mike Moto. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about travel reward credit cards. I'm going to leave this up to you. It's a Q&A. So if you guys have questions for me, go ahead and shoot. Uh, just put it in the chat. And also, if you guys have uh, requests, so if you want to look at a certain credit card, uh, travel credit cards is really the, 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 the channel that's our focus. We'll look at regular credit cards too, but we want credit cards with rewards. That's what, we're, what our main focus is uh, on, this, on this channel. We want to inspire people to travel through using points. So that's, that's our, our, our main objective here. So uh, just shoot. If you guys have any credit cards, just let me know and we'll look at them. All right. So let's see. Let's see what we have here. Uh, I'm going to give some shout outs right now. So if you guys are in the room, please let me know you're in the room just by giving me a little thumbs up emoticon or happy face or something, or just say hello, uh, just so I know you're in the room. Okay, David, what's going on? So David has changed his name. I had to scramble to change. You guys see a little scroll box here down below. I had to scramble to make that change because <laughs> I saw that he changed his name. I want to give him his proper due. So let me actually, let me explain this stuff real quick before we get started. So lower thirds down here, I now have a little scroll box and it's going to have the top, the top viewer of the, wait, the top viewer of the month, but we go back a month. So it'll be top viewer of July. So in August, maybe we'll have a new top, uh, top viewer and then, then we'll display them down here. Now you're asking, how do you become a top viewer? So basically what you need to do is just watch the live streams, as simple as that. So watching the live streams will get you, every 10 minutes, you get 10 points. And at the end of the month, then we'll, we'll have a tally. But, but at the end of the month, we're gonna do giveaways too. So the giveaways are new. This is gonna be starting uh, this month, so August, the last, for right now, it's gonna be the last Saturday of the month. Uh, we will we'll do we'll do a raffle. In order for you to win, you're going to have to watch the live stream and then buy buy the raffle tickets. Uh, and when I say buy, I don't mean like purchase with money. I mean with with the points that you're earning, uh, the TEC points. So the points that you're earning just by watching. So you get 10 points for watching. Uh, you also get. Let's see. I might be able to pull up. Yeah, I made a little. Uh, thing that I'm going to put up uh, a list of all the different things. So let's see if I can pull that up real quick. And I'm going to have all this stuff on my website. So I do have Travel Explore Click website. I'm not I'm not that active on it. I need to get more active on it. So um, I'm going to start putting more stuff on there, and then I'll just give you a link, and you can uh, take the link over there, so you'll be able to uh, see all this information here. Uh, but let's take a look, just so you guys understand what I'm talking about here uh, when it comes to the points. I think this will be exciting. I mean, I'm excited about it. I don't know. But I think it's, it, it's a pretty neat thing because you're able to, uh, to earn points and then challenge each other. Uh, there's even stuff in there, and I, I have to get all into the details, but uh, where you guys can play games and stuff on the side. So while we're, we're talking, let's say you want to play a game with someone else in the chat, and you can use these, t these points in order to gamble, I guess you can say. And there's some other little games too that you can play. Uh, so I, I, I'm going to figure all that out in the future. But for right now, I just wanted to, uh, uh, to bring this up. So let's, let's see here. What screen do I have that I use here? I think, I think it's this screen. Let me, let's see here. Is it that screen? Yeah, it's that screen. Okay. So uh, now every 10 minutes, like I said, right there. So every 10 minutes, you're going to get 10 points. That's just for being here. Okay. Now chat participation. If you are in there in the chat and you're active in the chat, 
uh, then you'll get three points. Now, I'm not sure exactly how they calculate the three points. I don't know how that works. I don't think it's every chat that you put, you get three points. So don't just think, oh, I'm just going to bombard the chat room with, with, with just, you know, nonsense. Don't do that. I uh, have legitimate stuff to say, but if you do, you're going to get three points in a matter of however they, however they calculate it. It wasn't pretty, it wasn't very specific when it's, when they uh, figured, when they did that. So I'm going to kind of monitor it too, to see how it works. And if it is three points for everything that you text, then I am going to drop that down to just one point. Uh, but do participate, you will get points. New subscribers, so, so if you're in, the, in, the, uh, in the, the live stream right now and you have not subscribed to my channel, just by subscribing, you're going to get 50 points, okay? Uh, so it's going to take, for each raffle, I've, right now I have it at five points per raffle uh, ticket, and you can buy up to 10. So just subscribing, you're able to get the full 10 um, tickets for the giveaway. Okay, and the giveaway, you're probably asking, well, what kind of giveaway are you going to... It's probably, right now, it's probably going to be gift cards. Uh, in the future, we'll, we'll kind of rotate and do different things. But it'll probably be like a $25 gift card somewhere. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing for right now. Uh, super Chats. So if you do uh, add a Super Chat uh, to... If you, if you add a Super Chat, you're going to get two points for every dollar. Okay? I wanted to keep that relatively low. I don't want people to think, oh, I can just buy all my raffle tickets like through a super chat. I don't want it to be like that. I want, uh, my main focus is the, the, the viewers. Okay, so if you're on here viewing and you're participating, that's, that's the main focus there. All right, now, when the live stream starts, you have to wait 10 minutes, okay? So you can't, and 10 minutes for this stuff here that I'm talking about. So all the uh, commands that you can use to kind of check your, check where you are, your status and all that, you have to wait 10 minutes and then after the 10 minutes, then you're able to view how many points you have. So right here, if you use exclamation point points, and that will show you how many points that you have at the current time. Okay, and you just, all you're doing is typing that in the chat, and I have a little Streamlabs bot that will, will give you uh, the information there. Now, uh, if you wanna see the top leaderboard, so the top 10 people uh, on the leaderboard, it's exc exclamation top, and it will give you that. And then exclamation top hours. That will also give you how many hours people, um, you know, the top ten. I believe it's the top ten people. How many hours they've they viewed within the last? Uh, I'm doing it every month. So right now it's it's more than more than a month because I think I started. It might be actually it might be a month. I'm not sure. I think I think it is a month. I, I'm trying to remember back when I initiated all this, and I think it was a month, or it might even even been less. We'll know, I'll know for sure at the end of August because I'll reset everything. And so then September, then I'll know exactly how much, because I don't know how many hours and people, how many hours people are watching all that. So, uh, all right. And then at the bottom here, I just have this information here just about the raffle. Uh, so in order to purchase a raffle ticket, it's I raffle and then the number of tickets that you want. I don't, did I put that? Yeah, and the number of tickets. So it'll be I raffle one would be I want to I want to purchase one ticket. Okay, so that is how it works out. Like I said, I'm going to put this on my website. I'll have a link in the description, uh, and then I'll have rules. I have to do all this stuff. I haven't done it yet, but I'll have the rules of the of the the giveaway, so you'll know exactly uh, what to expect. Uh, you have to actually do that for YouTube. YouTube will they will uh, they will punish you if you don't have if you're doing giveaways and you don't have like the rules of, of the giveaway, uh, as well as having some more information just so people know how to, how to do things. Now, this is no, it has, n this is nothing to do with, m nothing monetary. So what I'm saying is you don't have to pay for anything, okay? Super chats are a whole nother thing. And uh, so don't think, oh, I'm just gonna pay super chats. And if it does become that, like I, I, I totally uh, appreciate super chats, uh, but I don't, I want to be, I want this to be about the viewers more so. I don't want people just jumping in, doing super chat, and then trying to win the, the gift cards. If I see that being an issue in the future, then that's when I'll, I'll have to change that, uh, uh, change the point value here. I think it's pretty low, though. Most people, are, they're not gonna, uh, that's not gonna be an issue. So anyway, um, and I see the Streamlab bot is working right now, so people are trying to pull their stuff up. Hopefully everything is working uh, with that. 
Uh, it will get, it could get to a point where like if everybody's trying to do it at the same time, it might get a little slow uh, because he has to calculate all that, uh, all that information and, and uh, put it out there for you guys. All right, so let's come back here. Uh, another thing, uh, is there any other thing I wanted to talk about before we get going? Uh, I think that's it. We have a new subscriber we need to give a shout out to Rondell. Thank you, Rondell, or no, Rodell. I'm sorry. Rodell Photo, thank you for <laughs> subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. All right. And I would imagine you're a photographer, and I'm a photographer as well. So uh, if you have any questions about photography, I'm always up to talk about photography too. I don't like to bore people too much with the photography. Uh, most of my audience, they want to they want to talk about travel award credit cards, which is which is great, and that's um, that's the main reason that I do the live streams because we can do more Q and A when it comes to that. Uh, but if you do have photography questions or if you do have comments that you want to put out there about photography, feel free to put it in the chat. Uh, my whole the way I got started was photography. As far as the way I got started traveling was photography, and I wanted to travel more and take pictures. Uh, do some uh, travel photography. And so that's why I started getting into travel award credit cards because I started to find out, quickly found out after only one trip that it's very expensive <laughs> to travel. And so in order for me to do it, I had to, I had to figure out a way and the way was, was travel credit cards. And so now I'm kind of, you know, I love photography and I love using my points in order to, uh, to travel the world and, and uh, and do it in style. So fly first class, business class, stay in really nice uh, hotels and stuff like that, and then get out and take pictures. So, all right, guys, uh, let's see. So please, guys, uh, we have about 34 people in the room. That's great, so please hit the subscribe button so we can get those, uh, or subscribe button, I'm sorry. You can hit the subscribe button if you're new. <laughs> But uh, please hit the like button so we can get uh, more people in because the more likes the video gets in, the sh in a short amount of time, the more YouTube is, is going to promote us out and uh, everyone will be able to see what we're doing here. Okay, so I always, I'm always open to feedback. So if you guys see stuff and you say, hey, why don't you try to do this or do that, uh, let me know. Actually, David was the one that mentioned about, hey, you should have like the top, of course, because he's the top, right? You should have the top. Um, viewer of the month on the on the on the screen somewhere. I said, yeah, you know what? That does sound good. So let me uh, let me see what I can do. <laughs> and so I'm doing it in the scroll the scroll way here. It's just, it works out a little bit better. I can have more information on there. Uh, and if I wanted to add different things, I can always do that. So uh, I'm hoping this works right. My old computer was not fast enough to keep up with the scroll and everything else that was going on in the background. And so there was a delay in audio. So I'm going to, I'm hoping that's not going to be a problem here, but if it is a problem, then that, that I might have to take that scroll out uh, because I don't know if you guys saw some of the earlier videos that I did long time ago, back probably in January, February uh, live streams, I had to stop doing the scroll because it was just really, really delayed. All right, guys, I'm going to give some shout outs now. So if you guys are in the room, please let me know you're here just by giving me a thumbs up emoticon or happy face or say hello. Uh, so I know you're here and I can give you a shout out. So, David, what's going on, buddy? David Amex King Moss. <laughs> what is up? World Walker, what's going on? Dolly, nice to see you. Scott, what's going on? Nate and Jess, how you guys doing? Uh, let me see. Hold on. I'm going to start, when I do the shout outs, I'm going to look at the questions real quick, or the questions or the, the stuff that you guys are writing. If it's a question, I'll come back to it. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. <laughs> David said, I'm going to st I'm going to drop the Amex King fart and yeah, just use your last name. That's cool. My name is David too, so it does get a little confusing in the chat. Some people ask uh, David a question, but I don't know if they're asking David or they're asking me. So... All right, if you do have a question for me, you can put at David or you can put at TEC um, or you can just put DC if you want to do that. If you want to just be more personal, not put TEC, just put DC and I'll know that as well. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, oh, they just got back. You guys just got back to the hotel. Where are you guys staying again? I'm completely 
<laughs> lost in everyone else's life. I had so much stuff going on right now. Um, let's see. Coffee table book. What's going on? He says, I'm drunk. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. All right. Let's see. Who else is in the building? Vic, what's going on? Nice to see you. Michael, thanks for stopping by. And let's see. Life for Business, thank you for stopping by. And I think that's it. Now, we have a lot of people in the room, so just let me know you're here. Give me something, some kind of indicator so I can give you a shout out. Wade, what's going on? And Jason, how you doing? D, Fish, what's going on? Louie, what's going on? Max Points, what's up? Darren, what's going on? Casey, how you doing? Uh, Peltwork, what's going on? And I see all these people trying to get their points. <laughs> That's great. I love it. Uh, I love it. So, yeah, so those of you, Flashpoint, what's going on, brother? For those of you guys that don't know and just came in the room, so the Streamlab bot, like if you put exclamation points or exclamation point points, then it will give you uh, how many like points you have currently, and that's based on the number of time or the number of minutes that you've watched. Every ten minutes, you get ten points, uh, and so at the end of the month, and we'll do a we'll do a raffle uh, giveaway. So that's what that's all about. That's why you're, you're seeing this bot doing all this stuff. Jay Hill, what's going on, buddy? And all right, I think we I think we've given everyone a shout out. Now, like I said, questions. At TEC or DC or David or something, just let me know uh, in the chat. As well as, uh, what was the other thing? God, this was, oh, uh, travel award credit cards. If you guys have any credit cards in mind that you want to review, if you, especially if you guys are, are, are beginners and you, you don't, you, you're thinking about which card should you get, put a card out there and then we'll, we'll look at it. We'll talk about it. Uh, the good thing about this group is you have a lot of people in here who are very knowledgeable about travel credit cards. So they can give you their opinion. I'll give you my opinion. Don't just take my opinion. Listen to what other people have to say that, that's in the chat because uh, they might have some personal experience. Like I can tell you, yeah, you know what? I use Chase Sapphire Reserve. I love that card. This is why. And then they can give you their reasons why they like it or dislike it. So it's, it's, a, good, uh, it's a good way to learn about travel credit cards. One thing about travel credit cards, they're not all created equal. Uh, not all points are created equal either. So you might see a sign-up bonus. Let's say it's Hilton, and they're saying, oh, we're going to give you 150,000 points. And then you see the Chase Sapphire Reserve, and they're saying, oh, we're going to give you 50,000 points. And then you'll look and you'll say, 150,000, 50,000. What? <laughs> what does that mean? I'm going with 150,000, right? Uh, but not all points are equal. And so that Chase Sapphire Reserve with those 50 points, when I say 50 points, did I say 50? 50,000. With the 50,000 points with the, with the uh, Chase Sapphire Reserve, those points are more valuable than the 150,000. Uh, so they're, it's better to go with that Chase Sapphire Reserve uh, or you know, different cards. There are a variety of different cards out there. So just understand, not all cards are cre created equal and not all points are created equal. So don't just go by the sign-up bonus. When I first started out, what did I do? I went by the sign-up bonus. That's all I was looking at. I was like, oh, okay, well, I get more, more uh, points here, so this must be a better card. Well, no, because the points aren't all the same and the points don't offer you the same benefits as far as transfer partners and the travel portals and all that. So you need to look at a lot of different things uh, to, to figure out uh, when you're first starting out to figure out what, what's going on with the, with the cards. What are they really saying? Uh, so, okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, and David, I like the Amex King part. You should leave that in there. You don't even have to put your last name. Just put David Amex King. <laughs> Just leave that. Yeah. I would actually advise not you putting your last name on it. You don't want all your information out there. Just put David Amex King. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Spirit Airlines, I never thought I'd see you uh, in here again. <laughs> World Walker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so World Walker, if you guys don't know, and I haven't seen you in a while, World Walker. Yeah, you've been, you've been hiding out. Where you been? Um, 
He 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 swears up and down by Spirit Airlines. He almost had me. Almost had me. Oh no, I won't even say. I, I wasn't even. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna. No. But he brought some something to my attention, which I didn't know. Spirit Airlines. They do have not quite business class, but they have larger seats uh, up in the front. Not maybe not all. I've never even been on Spirit Airlines, but I'm just saying. Uh, he turned me on to the fact that they do have some larger seats that are up front, uh, so it's kind of kind of uh, kind of a business class uh, set up there, uh, which is interesting because I had no idea. And this is I'm sure this is not on all their planes, but uh, there are some planes that they do have something resembling <laughs> business class. I don't know exactly what they offer. I mean, are they offering you anything other than than um, a bigger seat? Do they offer alcohol? I, I'm sure they probably offer alcohol, but is it free? Yeah, I'd, I'd be interested to know that. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, like button, like button. Please hit the like button if you can so we can get more people in uh, in here so YouTube will promote us. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> Let me move forward. Let's see. Yeah, they just let me know where you guys are. I didn't. I know you got. I thought you said you were traveling, but I can't remember where you said you were going to. Okay, um, the Hyatt here is excellent. Cool, cool. Hyatt, let us know what Hyatt you're in. I'm interested to know that too. I'm a big Hyatt fan. For all of you guys who don't know, I do like Hyatt hotels, and that is my favorite hotel chain. Uh, I know they have some shortcomings when it comes to footprint. They're, they're not as they're not as large as some of the other other hotel uh, chains, but I have always been satisfied staying at a at a Hyatt property. I've never been I've never been in a situation where I'm like, ah, oh, why did I stay here? Uh, so I've always had a good experience. Customer service is excellent, and they work with the Chase ecosystem because I can transfer my points directly over to uh, to Hyatt. Uh, as well as I have the World of Hyatt card, which I use uh, on a regular. When I'm anytime I'm staying at a Hyatt property, I'm using that World of Hyatt card to get nine points. You get a total of nine points uh, for every dollar spent on Hyatt property, and that would be five points just for being a member. So just signing up for the program. That's all you need to do. Sign up for the World of Hyatt program. Uh, you get five points when you use your World of Hyatt card. Plus, you get four points for using your using the card. So you get a total of nine points, which is excellent. Uh, another little thing, a little tip that I always tell people, uh, don't be shy to order room service every once in a while, as long as you can afford it. Like, always have the money in the bank. When you're using credit cards, don't think that you're rich, because you're not. You have credit cards, but always have the money in the bank. The way I work things now is I use my credit cards for all of my purchases, okay? So that's ev everything that I purchase. I use my credit cards, I pay it off every two weeks. I always have money in the bank. I never use my credit card if there's no money in the bank. So I'm not doing one of those things like, uh, like I did when I was younger and didn't know any better, thinking, oh, I can get that new TV. Uh, I don't have any money in the bank right now, but I'll just pay for it over time. Don't do that. Travel credit cards, the worst thing for you to, to do is to, do, to, to use your credit card, your travel award credit card, and not have any money in the bank and then pay it over time. The interest on those cards are are are, are, may, are they're they're just ridiculously high, so you don't want to do that. You always want to have the money. You always want to be able to pay it off uh, as soon as it. In some situations, you want to pay it off as soon as it hits. So as soon as it be even before it comes to the statement, if you can pay it off before that, uh, that that's even better because it will help as far as your FICO score because uh, they won't report it. So if they report it, then it's going to sh your utilization can be affected. Uh, not much, depending on how much money you have out there, but it can still be affected. So the sooner the better, especially if you're making a big purchase, like it's a couple, couple thousand. Uh, you have the money in the bank. You make that big purchase. You pay it off as soon as it hits, as soon as it shows uh, available so you can pay it. Uh, do that. That way your utilization will stay, will stay down. Your percentage will stay down. Uh, so... All right, let's see here. And now, I'm telling you my experience, okay? And I'm going to start putting a disclaimer up. I, I was talking with, with Flashpoint, uh, with Jason earlier today, 
and we both have channels. So check out his channel, Flashpoint Capital. He's got really good content over there. We, we both talk about travel award credit cards and, and, and tell people how travel award credit cards have changed our life. Like it, it literally changed my life in a sense that now I have freedom that I never had before and uh, financial freedom when it comes to travel. Uh, I didn't have this freedom before because I was in the, the whole uh, take one vacation a year and save up the, the whole year so I can afford to go on a, on a trip. Uh, because we all know, I mean, traveling is it's ridiculously expensive. Like airfare, hotels, it's just, it's insane how much money uh, it costs. And when I, started, when I started doing the whole points thing and, and using my credit card for all of my spend, then I got to the point where I realized, okay, I still save. But a lot of the money that I'm saving stays in the bank. It never go, it never goes on that trip. Like I'll spend a little bit on the trip, but my airfare is taken care of, my hotel is generally taken care of, and so I have more money that's saved up. Because this is when I talk about this, and I'm preaching now about these travel credit cards. But when I talk about this, um, using my credit card for all of my spend, I'm not spending anything that I wouldn't normal. I'm not using or purchasing anything that I wouldn't normally purchase, okay? So I'm talking about when I go to the grocery store. I just went to the grocery store a couple of hours ago. Yes, I used my, my credit card. Now, at the end of the, the two-week period, I will pay that all off, okay? I'm using it just like I would use my debit card, but I'm getting something in return. I'm getting points in return, and so that's why I'm using it. I'm maximizing my point earning potential by using the card for all of my purchases. And so that's what I mean. And now I have that financial freedom when it comes to travel because I can pretty much go anywhere. I can go anywhere in the U.S. or in the U.S. I can go anywhere in the world right now. If I wanted to book a trip tonight, I can go anywhere in the world. And when I'm talking, I'm talking airfare and then hotel. I can work that out. I can use points if I want to do that. I'm not a big fan of using a, using. Hmm, I'm not a big fan of using points for, for hotel stays. And unless it's like something like a special occasion uh, or I can get, you know, and I tell people all the time, I do the Hyatt thing. I try to do it on a budget. So I do the Hyatt place. Uh, usually if I can find a category one, I'm golden. Getting that category one, 5,000 points uh, for each night. And I'm good. Five nights, 25,000 points. That, that's, that's pretty good. for That's pretty reasonable. I'm not a huge fan of doing the hotel stays using points because if you want to stay in a nice hotel, you're you're going to fork out I don't care what what hotel brand you're looking at, you're going to fork out 15, 20, 25,000 points, which is a lot. 25,000 points is a round trip ticket anywhere in the US with the exception of Hawaii and I think Alaska. So that's a lot of points. That, those points can get me to a destination. So what I do a lot is I'll either do the Hyatt. If I can do the Hyatt on a budget, I'll do that, or I'll do Airbnbs. And I like to travel to destinations that are affordable destinations. Uh, so I go to Columbia a lot. People all, everyone on here knows I like to travel to Columbia. Why do you like to travel to Columbia? Beautiful women, affordable, affordable living. Like it, it's affordable to travel there. And it's a, it's a vacation. It's a, it's a getaway. Uh, back in the day, before I started travel, like this real travel outside of the country, I was doing Vegas. That was like my getaway. And I live in Los Angeles, so going to Vegas is, is cheap. Uh, it's cheap to get there, but we all know how Vegas is, right? So <laughs> gambling, you can lose a lot of money. But it was cheap to get there, and it was a good getaway because you can stay at these real nice hotels and you don't have to pay that much. Uh, generally, it was, it was pretty reasonable, especially back in the day. Uh, I'd say like 10 years ago, it was, it was really reasonable uh, to go and just relax at the pool and go to the nightclubs and, and go to some of the nicest restaurants and some of the nicest restaurants in the world. I mean, they have some really nice restaurants there uh, in Las Vegas. So that was my getaway. But now that I travel, like using points, I like the I like my getaway to be outside of the country. I want something new, something different. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that, that that's the way it goes. All right, so let me let me move on here. Uh, okay, uh, coffee table book just turned twenty one. Congratulations on turning twenty one. 
Wow, I don't even remember when I turned 21. It was so long ago. <laughs> Congratulations. Drink moderately, though. Don't get crazy because, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. You don't want it to be, uh, you don't want to be like that. Just be moderate, you know, just baby steps. <laughs> All right, uh, World Walker, the old Hyatt card is the best. You know what, um, Walker, I had that, I had that old, the old Hyatt card. I didn't even get the sign-up bonus because I had to do it. They just did a product change. And um, I did like the old one, but I like the nine points for every dollar spent with the new one. And I can't even remember what, what was the old one. I can't remember the, the value of the old one. I remember looking at both cards and saying to myself, ah, you know what, it makes, it makes more sense for me to go with a, with a newer card. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, oh, it's $75. Yeah, it was cheaper. That That is true. But I look at it like this. That's a keeper card regardless because you get a free night. And all hotel cards, or I should say not all, most hotel cards are going to give you a free night. And if they're around that under $100 range uh, as far as the annual fee, they're keeper cards because I'm getting that free night. So I'm getting that $95 value every year. And and so it just makes it, it, makes it worth it. Uh, that's, that's the way I look at it. All right, let's see. The old hired card is definitely not as good. So that's David saying that. Uh, let's see. I can't stand because I've got to wake up early. No worries, Dolly. Thank you for stopping by, though. Thank you for stopping by. I hope everyone has a fun or has has a fun in live stream. It has fun in live stream. Okay. You're missing points, but that's all right. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> you got to catch David. You got to knock him off his... His uh, pedestal there. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. And she said that long time ago, so she's long gone probably. Uh, let's see. Vic, hey, let's see. I was just uh, taking a look at the United Excursion per or Excursions at Perk. Excursion Perks. Uh, do you have any experience, advice on how to get the most value out of booking trips? Okay, so... The excursion perks are you're you're pretty much talking about the the stop the stopovers and the the jaw the open jaws, uh, I think that's what you're talking about. So if that's what you're talking about, I'll tell you my quick little story with that. Uh, I when it comes to the stopover, well, actually when it comes to both of them, I, I've used both of them. Uh, my last trip to Hawaii, I used a stopover. And so let me kind of explain it to uh, those of you who don't know. So with United and I believe all the Star Alliance partners, although I have not tried it on some of the different um, Star Alliance partners. United is, is the legacy carrier in the U.S., and then you have some other airline carriers all over the world. But uh, the, the stopover is this. We all know what a layover is, right? You fly to an airport, and you have a layover for like four hours, so you have to wait at the airport. Or you can, I guess you could leave if you want, but most people just wait at the airport, uh, and then they catch another flight to their destination. Okay, so they, they have layovers, but they also have a stopover. Now, a stopover, a stopover is longer, okay? A stopover can be for days, weeks, if you really wanted to. And so uh, what I did in my last trip to Hawaii is I had to fly to Honolulu. So we were going to fly to Honolulu, stay in Honolulu for two days, and then fly from Honolulu to Kauai and stay in Kauai for seven days, or actually eight days. It ended up being eight days for me. So that was the plan, and then fly back uh, to Los Angeles. So the beauty of of the of the uh, the stopover is I could I can set up my my itinerary. So I get online. I'm using points, right? I get online. I put in. You can do multi city, so you don't have to do just do uh, round trip or one way. You can do multi city. So click the multi city button. Tell them I want to go from Los Angeles to uh, Honolulu, and it will. It'll show you how many points you're going to need to to do that that uh, trip or that uh, that f that flight. <laughs> how many points it needs? To, how many points it takes to get there? And so let's say I just make up a number, right? Twenty twenty five thousand. So it's going to take twenty five thousand to get from Los Angeles to Honolulu, and then. I do, it's because I'm doing multi-city, it's going to ask me, okay, you want to go from Honolulu to where? So I say from Honolulu, and I just space it out. So I put it, spaced it out for two days, because I want to stay in Honolulu for two days. Space it out two days from Honolulu to Kauai. That Honolulu to Kauai is my stopover. 
And if you, if you do it right and they have available space, you can do it with, you don't have to use any points. Okay, so that's the beauty of it. You don't have to use points and the taxes and fees are very, very minimal. I think it's like $2 or something crazy like that, maybe $5, I don't know. Uh, so that's my stopover. And so from, from there, I'll be in, Hawaii, in Kauai. And so I stay in Kauai for eight days and then I do another, I add another destination to it. So you add that destination and that destination will be going back to Los Angeles. So from Kauai to Los Angeles, and then I'll pay 25,000 points or whatever it is for that flight back. Uh, so that's how you do it. That's how you use a stopover. So you get away with an extra flight in between and you don't have to use any points for that flight. Uh, so that, that really works out. Now, they also have open jaws. An open jaw, and you can do a stopover and an open jaw. I believe you can do both of them in one flight, or one flight, I'm sorry, in one trip. I have not done that yet. But what an open jaw is, is basically you can fly to a destination. I did this back, uh, I went to Colombia this, uh, this year, I went to Barranquilla, so, or actually went to a few different destinations. But I started in Los Angeles, I flew out to uh, to uh, Barranquilla, Colombia. Okay, there was Carnival. I wanted to get out to, to Barranquilla. There was a lot of flights going on around that same time. So uh, I tried to do the stopover where I was going to stay in Barranquilla for four days and then go from Barranquilla to Medellin and then go from Medellin home. So I was going to try to do that stopover. The only thing is the stopover, they weren't allowing me to do it. It was they would allow me to do it, but I needed to use points. They had limited availability, so they had it would cost like 20,000 points to fly from Barranquilla to Medellin, which is about a 45-minute flight. And when I looked it up online, cash price, $130, business class. So I'm thinking, no, I'm not using 20,000 points, which is, if it's one cent per point, the worst value I'm getting out of that is, is it's $200 worth of, worth of points for 20,000. There's no way... There's no way I'm doing that. So uh, what I did is I did the open jaw. And what the open jaw means is I can fly into Barranquilla. So I can fly into that airport and then fly out of another airport. That's all it means. So I, when I book my flight, I say I want to fly to Barranquilla. And then I have an open jaw. And then fly from Medellin to, um, to Los Angeles, right? So. Basically, I just have to find a way to fly from Barranquilla to Medellin so I can catch my flight from Medellin uh, back to Los Angeles. So that's what an open jaw is. So this works perfect for, for people, especially if you're like backpackers or stuff like that. You can fly into one destination, and then you can find your way to your end destination and then fly out of a different airport. So that's what it allows you to do. So uh, yeah, they're, they're really, it's really a good tool to use. And I highly recommend it if you do have United or you fly with United uh, to do that. Use your points, and in a lot of situations, you can get you can get away with some really good, really good deals uh, as far as finding ways to get to different destinations uh, and have like an extra little stop in between. And some people say, "Oh, you do a layover? Just do a long layover?" Yeah, you can do that, but I, I kind of like doing a day. Or not even a day. I'm sorry. I like to do a couple of days. One day is not enough, and 12 hours is really not enough. So I want to be able to experience things, so get out and do things. So that stopover is perfect for that. All right, uh, all right, guys. Uh, please hit the like button if you're in here. Please hit the like button so we can bring some more people in. Uh, we have about 39 people, 40 people in the room. We have about 26 likes. Our uh, goal is always 50 likes. 50 likes, so we've been doing it every live stream uh, in the last couple of weeks, so please hit the like button so we can get up there and uh, bring some more people in. Okay, uh, so I hope that answered your question, Vic, and I will be doing, hopefully, <laughs> I, I, well, I'm, I'm booking, I'm gonna book, uh, I'm just waiting, actually, I should be, I should be getting my points very, very soon. Uh, I was just kind of waiting for those points to hit. I still have points in the account, so I can just go ahead and do it now, but uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, a video on that where I just sit down and I go through uh, on, you know, I'll show you my screen. I'll go through booking a flight on United because I'll be going to, to Columbia, back to Columbia in October. Uh, and so I've already looked at the flight and I do have, they do have an available uh, stopover uh, because my plan is to fly to Bogota, be in Bogota for like three days and then fly from Bogota to Medellin, be there for, what it, what am I, how long am I staying? Seven days, something like that in uh, Medellin and then fly from Medellin back to Los Angeles, so. All right. 
Okay, so you guys are getting used. So it, like I said, and David did this a little early, yeah, you have to wait 10 minutes in order to start look, looking up your points and all that. It won't, uh, the, the, the bot won't do anything until then. I didn't know that. Yesterday, when I first started to do it, I got on, I tried to do it, and it didn't work. I'm like, ah, oh, it doesn't work. But then at the end of the show, we did it, and it was working, so. All right. And David is jealous. He doesn't have a Spirit Airlines card. So World of Walker, you do have a Spirit Airlines card. Let us know how that works as far as, I, I, put, I talked about this yesterday, but I wasn't sure. The expert, like, do your points expire? Uh, I know back in the day, they were saying that the points expire after six months. Someone said that to me, and I thought that was just crazy. But uh, let, let me know if that, is the, if that is the case. So if you don't use the card, do your points expire? Okay, coffee table book. Uh, I just turned 21 and drunk. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, got it, got it, coffee table book. Uh... All right, let's keep moving. On. Now, if you have questions specifically for me, just put at TEC, and I will, uh, I'll address those questions. Uh, all the other stuff I kind of just skim over. So if I see something that catches my eye, then I'll then I'll uh, look at it. But if not, I'm looking more for people who are uh, asking specific questions. Uh, let's see. And coffee table book says, hopefully, I get a chase offer now that I'm 21. Uh, well, I mean, you don't have to wait for an offer. And if you're unsure about if your credit is good, um, first, get your FICO score. See where you are when it comes to that. If you're around 700, 720, you're, you're probably pretty good. Uh, of course, they're going to want to know what your income is. So if you are working you know, a job, uh, then that's something else to consider. And it's always, it doesn't hurt to go into a, to a branch. So if you do have Chase uh, nearby, go to the branch and you can ask them. What do I qualify for? You know, I'm 21 years old. I want to start getting my credit going. And they can point you in the right direction as far as, as uh, what credit cards to get. Uh, but be responsible. You're young. I was young. We've all been young. Uh, you need to be responsible when it comes to these credit cards. And like I said, you need to pay it off every two weeks. Uh, that should be your practice. Every two weeks, pay it off. Uh, I like what some other people said. I put out a video uh, last week just talking about, actually it was two weeks ago, talking about uh, why I don't use auto pay, uh, but some people brought us some good points. Have auto pay to pay at least the minimum and then pay it all off, you know, every two weeks anyway, but just have that ad, have that set as a backup just in case, God forbid, something happens. Um, there was someone that, that uh, brought to my attention that they, they were injured and they were in the hospital for, for like three weeks, and so they didn't have the ability to make those payments. And so it's good to have that auto pay set up just in case you, you're put in a situation where you can't make those those payments. At least it's going to pay the minimum. Uh, and then when you get back on your feet, then you can go ahead and, and, and take care of it. Uh, but yeah, that that's another good way to go. I personally, I just, I, I've still been doing it kind of the same way. Just every two weeks, I'm paying everything off. So, all right, let's see. Uh, David said, <laughs> DC, I'm getting the Apple credit card uh, when it finally comes out uh, to the public. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. I mean, that card is good for, for people. Uh, I just, it's not good for travel, I can tell you that. Uh, but I think people who are into Apple, it's probably something that, something to consider. Especially if they make it where you're getting these, these, uh, you're getting things that not, not everyone can get at the time. Like, let's say they, they open it up only to people who use Apple, the Apple card. Uh, yeah, it, it would make sense for a lot of people who like Apple and swear by Apple to get the card because they can get things that, that uh, most other people can't. Uh, Sam, what's going on? Thank you for stopping by, buddy. Uh, staying in Pittsburgh at the Hyatt Hotel. Okay, cool, cool. Now, is that a Hyatt Hotel? or Hyatt Place, Hyatt Regency, Hyatt House. Uh, I know they still have Hyatt hotels around. It's kind of weird. There's one Hyatt hotel I've stayed, I stayed in, in uh, Palm Springs, but uh, there are very few Hyatt hotels, just Hyatt. Usually it's gonna be a Hyatt Place, Hyatt Regency, Hyatt House, uh, and Oz, Grand Hyatt, Park Hyatt. Yeah, so uh, the Hyatts are generally the older, the older hotels. 
All right, let's see. I need to bring out the Ritz Carlton card again. <laughs> Johnny Chingus, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I get a lot of useful travel advice from here. I could see this channel becoming a Netflix series. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> You're watching TEC Live from Medellin, Colombia. That would be nice. That would be nice. Uh, <laughs> you know what's great? I could do this channel from all over the world. I could be a digital nomad and just travel the world and talk about travel credit cards and how I use points to travel from here to there to there to there. So, and with no foreign transaction fees, I'm good, right? All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Okay, so TEC, or TEC, <laughs> Altered Illusions is asking, uh, should I ask, should I ask for a limit increase soft pool sock to record card? If it's a soft pool, there's no harm in it. Now, if it's a hard pool and you need to find that out, um, then I wouldn't do it. But if it's a soft pool and you want to improve your, your FICO score, because basically what will happen is if you ask for an increase and it's a soft pool, that will help your, your credit utilization, uh, the percentage to go down. So... Um, yeah, it wouldn't be bad in that sense, but you need to make sure, like if you call them and ask for an increase, uh, make sure that they're doing a soft pull, they're not doing anything hard, because uh, I, I, I don't think it's worth it in that point. Uh, and then you also need to look at where's your credit, like where's your FICO score now? Like if it's 750 or above, it's, you're not gonna have <laughs> really a change. Once you hit 750, 760, you're pretty much at the you know the the, the good credit uh, level, so it's you're not going to see that drastic of a change uh, as far as what you're offered. You're pretty you're pretty much going to be offered the same uh, from 750 all the way up. So that you can consider that as well. But if you're like right on that border, yeah, do the soft pull and 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 get you up to 750 or 760 or so. Okay. And David saying you 100% should if it's a soft pull. Yeah, I agree with that. All right. All right. Okay, so coffee table say. Uh, let's see, I'm under 524, October 1st, uh, then I plan on getting the uh, the Chase Inc. Preferred. That's a really good card, 80,000 sign-up bonus. You have to have a business, though, so um, even if it's a part-time business, whatever you have, but you need to be able to to provide some information that, sh that states that you have a business. Uh, you can do sole proprietor, so you can use your Social Security number and all that, but you do need to show some type of, uh, of proof. Uh, Donnie, what's going on? Uh, I love that David looks like a true world traveler. His outfit looks like he's a safari. <laughs> oh, Donnie, Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> I wear these shirts all the time. If you guys don't, don't notice, check out my videos. This one, a black one, a blue one, a green one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's easy. I don't have to think about it. I can wear it to work. I can wear it here. They're really durable. I can, you know, what have you. But yeah, I, I do wear the main, And when I travel, these are the shirts I wear. And the main reason is the pockets, they have a zipper pocket on this side right here. So I have a zipper pocket and I can put my pass, or I do put my passport, all my important documents inside of that zipper pocket and I'm good. So when I'm traveling, I do have this shirt. I, I wear these shirts. I have. I have about like seven of them. Uh, so I do wear these shirts all the time when I travel. Now, when I go out and stuff like that, I have nicer clothes. But when I'm like on the airplane and stuff like that, or just night around, you know, not, night on, not night on the town, but just going around town, then I, I wear these shirts. It's just, it just allows me to kind of hide my stuff. And plus, you guys won't be able to see this without me. Oh, where is it? Uh, uh, there you go. 
okay, there's a zipper right here. And that's like for credit cards. So, and it tucks under your, if you want to tuck your shirt in, you can tuck it under your shirt. Uh, but the beauty of that is I can, I always have, I, I did a video on travel safety. I will post it in the community post. I'm gonna start doing more community posts, but in the p community post after this video, I'll post it. Uh, it's just titled travel safety. Uh, but I talk a lot about how and what I carry. So I, I never carry my passport when I'm traveling, or not when I'm traveling. When I get to my destination, passport goes in the hotel. It stays in the hotel. And as well as a form of ID. So I have like the global entry card. I have my passport, um, my California ID. I think those are the three forms of ID that I have. So I usually will, will have the global entry. I'll just keep that. Uh, with my passport. Matter of fact, you know, I should probably split those, separate those. But anyway, I'll have that. I'll have a couple of credit cards with my passport. And then I put that stuff in a, one of these shirts in the zipper. And if it's a shirt that I've worn already, that's probably better because it's like a, you know, worn shirt. So, and then I just have that either hanging in my closet or I put it, I have like a, uh, I put my, my dirty clothes in, the, in, a, in a bag. So that's where I keep it, keep my passport. And you're probably saying, why would you keep it there? Why not put it in a safe and put it under your bed or put it in your drawer? Those are places that if someone were looking to steal something, they're going to those places first. And I don't know about you, but most of the safes that I see, if it's in a hotel, usually the safes are pretty, they're locked down. Uh, but I've been in some Airbnbs and they have a safe in there and it's like, okay, all they need to do is take the safe. Like if it's bolted, it's not bolted very, very secure. So uh, I, I always do that. So I have the passport and all that set up. I have it in my clothes and one of my shirts. Another thing too, the reason why I don't want to put it in the drawer, or, or like some people say, put it underneath the drawer, tape it underneath the drawer. Great place, great hiding place for it. Most people aren't going to look. The only thing is when I leave, I could leave it. <laughs> so I like having it with my clothes. So worst case scenario, I for completely forget to, to get my passport, it's gonna be in my, in my suitcase. It's gonna be in my clothes because that's where I left it. So that, and then also uh, in case of an emergency situation, uh, and this would be more to like, yeah, have it hanging, not in your, your dirty clothes, but um, in an emergency situation, I have my passport, I have a debit card because I have two debit cards. So I have a debit card, my passport, plus uh, a credit card already in my shirt so if, if god forbid there's a fire it's late at night i can't find my way around i can at least grab that shirt throw it on and get out <laughs> get out there get out of there and i have important documents in order to get home so those are other things i think about um i also uh let's see let's see where was i going what was the other thing god i just forgot <laughs> I, I forgot. All right. Maybe I'll remember it. But anyway, yeah, so that's what I, that's how I carry stuff. And then as far as my, uh, when I'm out walking around and stuff like that, I don't bring my passport. So I have a copy of my passport and that's what I use. The last thing I want to do is lose my passport. So I, I, I don't, I don't bring my passport uh, with me when I'm walking around. I've been in situations where I've had to show a copy of my passport and, and it's been fine. It's been uh, appropriate. Uh, what I probably will start doing though is bringing a global entry um, ID as well uh, when I'm out because it's another form of ID. It's a government issued ID. So it's an official government issued ID. So I can still show that to them and say, hey, this is official. It's from the United States, global entry. Uh, so it will at least uh, show that I am who my, you know, the passport showing my picture and all that, but it's a copy. But then I also have an official ID. Okay, all righty, Max Points, what's going on, buddy? Great channel, thank you very much, appreciate it. Uh, let's see, everybody's looking at their points. Nate and Jess looking at their points. Uh, top hours. So what I will do is every, at the end of the month, at the end of the giveaway, so the beginning of the next month, I will reset the points. So everyone will have an opportunity to knock David off the top. <laughs> so... Uh, so every month we'll, we'll start, we'll start fresh. Right. And then I'll probably, yeah, every month we'll start fresh and then we'll see like in the future we'll have, maybe we might have, 
uh, someone who stays on top for a certain amount of months. And so they'll be like the, I'll probably add to the little scroll down below <laughs> where we have uh, top person for July and then top person overall or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. All right. Um, and let me know if you guys have ideas, stuff like that. Put it out there. Let me know uh, if you if you guys want to. Um, if you guys, yeah, if you guys have ideas of different things. I I'm just spitballing things at this point right now. I don't know. Like I don't know exactly what 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 you guys want. So put it out there, and and, and that will uh, help me kind of figure out what uh, what's important to you guys. All right. Okay. Let's see. I think I plan on staying under 524 and applying for the business cards. Yeah, coffee table book. That's. I thought you said you didn't get any cards. I don't know. You, you got me all confused right now. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, if you get the business cards, if you're under 524 and you get business cards, you're not going to add to it. So that would be a good deal. Okay. All right. Uh, Wade, what's going on? Okay, let's keep on moving here. All right, guys, hit the like button. If you guys are in the room, please hit the like button if you have not done so, so we can bring some more people in. Uh, let's see. Hey, David, Discover Miles cards first year. Uh, it's pretty nice. Yeah, that's cool, Jason. The, the Discover cards are good. Uh, but I just have an issue with the fact that they call them travel cards because I, I just they're not travel cards to me. Uh, a travel card, travel cards to me are cards that have a set up ecosystem where you can transfer your points to airlines and you transfer your points to uh, are used like a travel portal. Uh, but cards that that promote, oh, you get miles uh, that you could use for travel. Yeah, that's good. But they don't have any partnerships, which makes it really hard if you want to travel in style, travel business class, first class, you're not going to have those opportunities unless you use all your miles up on, on one, one, uh, one flight uh, because you're going to need to really accumulate. I mean, let, let's just look at a business class flight. Uh, actually, business class flight I was looking at to uh, Columbia yesterday uh, on the channel, and it was like $2,400. Uh, so that, that's, and that was... I believe that, yeah, that was a round trip ticket. So $2,400 round trip ticket, you're going to need 240,000 points on, on something like, uh, you know, regular miles points where you're not transferring. You're going to need 240,000 in order to fly business class uh, to Columbia, a round trip ticket. Now, using points, if you transfer, and I've done this already, 70,000 points. So you see, you can see the difference uh, just by transferring your points uh, to the airline. Uh, you can really make out a lot better uh, so uh, to each his own though like if, if that's if that's working for you and you're able to accrue points uh, by all means do it and it does it does give you other options too uh, so I don't I don't say that they're bad in the sense don't ever get them I'm just saying if you want to use use it for travel then you're probably going to want to jump into an ecosystem where you can you can utilize your you can maximize your points a little bit better. So the Chase ecosystem, American Express, or City, uh, that's going to give you a better overall, uh, better overall experience as far as if. And not everyone not everyone wants. Let me let me say this too. Not everyone wants to fly first class or business class. Uh, but the beauty of having points is you have that opportunity. I would never pay $2,400 for a business class uh, seat to fly to Columbia. I would never pay it when I can pay $500, $600 for an economy seat uh, to Columbia. But if I have points, yeah, it, 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 it makes it 70,000 points. 70,000 points is for one, if it's one cent per point, 70,000 points, $700. I could pay that $700 in cash to fly economy, or I can use points with the same value and fly business class. So which one would you use? You probably want to fly business class, right? So that, that's kind of how I look at it. Okay. Uh, D Fish, seriously loving your live streams. Thank you very much, D Fish. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Louis, hi, everybody. What's going on, Louis? Max points, thumbs up. Uh, doing good, TEC. All right, let's move on, Darren. 
Let's see. British Airways has a 40% travel bonus uh, when transferring points. Uh, I don't know yet where I want to go. Cool, Darren. Cool, Darren. Yeah, they were doing that, that promotion. So that, that is a good promotion. Uh, as a matter of fact, the business class or the business class, the first class, I've only flown true first class. And when I say true first class, we're talking, you know, the, the overseas flight, the, 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 you know, the really exclusive first class, right? So uh, I'm sitting, you know, you have your own little private area. Uh, it wasn't quite an apartment, like kind of set up like the, you know, the, the, some of the, the real high end, like Etihad and, and, and uh, am I saying that name right now? That and, and, and Singapore Air, and they, you have some of the, the, the first class suites and stuff like that. It wasn't that level, but it was the true first class. I was flying on a 747 British Airways. Uh, there was only 12 seats up front. We're underneath the pilot. Uh, we have our, like I said, we have our own little space. You hit a button and your the blinds go up and you got like, you have three, <laughs> three windows up there. And yeah, it was, it was, it was an experience and the food was excellent. Like I never, I've, that food was better than most food that I've had on land, <laughs> like, you know, restaurants, going to restaurants. It was better than that. Uh, yeah, just an excellent experience. Uh, the, the, and the flight attendants you had, man, there was only six of it. There was 12 seats. There was only six of us in the, in that front, uh, in the first class, the, the ticket, one way ticket, $6,500. So you can imagine most people aren't going to pay that. We were probably all using points. Uh, but, uh, that, that experience and you, you, the flight attendants you had, you had a flight attendant, so there was one flight attendant for both of us. Like there, for all six, there was one flight attendant for two people, and then they had another person that was coming around that was uh, uh, I don't even know, like a lead, I guess. And then they had like the, the the manager that was there too. So you had all these different people that were there, and it was like overwhelming the amount of like <laughs> customer service you were getting. I mean, they were just. They were all about it. It was one of those deals where they do everything for you. They, they like, if you're ready to go to sleep, basically you get on the plane, uh, they bring the menu to you and they just tell you, uh, they, they go over the menu with you. So it's not just like give the menu. So they go over the menu and they tell you all the different stuff that they have to, to offer. And then you tell them what you want. They ask you, <laughs> do you want pajamas? Sure, I want pajamas. Why not? So they, they bring you pajamas, and then you have like an amenities kit already with all toothbrush and toothpaste, all that stuff. So they have that. Uh, the seat, like the seat, is one of the life flight seats that goes all the way back. And so they pretty much plan. It was a ten hour flight, so they plan your whole. They they try to get a kind of an idea of what your your plan is. So are you going to sleep? Uh, when do you want to eat? You can eat anytime you want. You can eat as much as you want. So if you want to eat a meal every hour, you could do that. Uh, and then. Um, before you go to bed, they will, uh, they'll make your bed for you. So, uh, <laughs> so they make your bed, you know, they just do every, I mean, it, I'm telling you, they do everything for you. Uh, even, it even got crazy. Like it got uncomfortable <laughs> for me because, uh, I went to put my pajamas on. And so went, put my pajamas on, went to the restroom, put my pajamas on at, on my way out. The one of the flight attendants, it was a, a, a male flight attendant. He was standing at the door. So when I open the door, he's right there. He's like, do you want me to take your pants? And I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. I can take my pants. You have a little wardrobe in, in your in your area where you can just hang your, your pants. But he was like, no, 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 we can we can hang it back here. You know, it'll so it'll it, these are jeans. Right. But so it'll be straight. Like if I hung it in my little wardrobe, it folds over. Right. But he was like, no, 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 we can hang in here and it'll, you know, it'll stay, you know, no wrinkles or whatever. I'm thinking, no, they're jeans. It's no big deal. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. You're, you're, <laughs> you're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Stand outside the restaurant waiting for me. So just things like that. But they were just over the top. Really great experience. Um, and I've flown business class, you know, a lot. And business class is nowhere compared to like a true first class experience. So if you guys have had that true first class experience, let me know. Let us know in the chat and let us know uh, how you liked it. Um, okay. Let's move on here. I have the Amex every day and the gold, uh, also the Chase Freedom. What should my next card be? 
Uh, it depends on where you want to go with it. So you have the Amex Gold, great card for earned possibilities. Um, Amex Every Day is a pretty good card. The Chase Freedom is a good card. The thing that you don't have though is you're probably going to need to get like one of the higher in Chase cards. So you have a Chase Freedom. Do you travel? If you travel, then you're probably going to want to get a Chase Sapphire Reserve. That's what I would go with. Or the Chase Sapphire Preferred if you don't want to do that $450 annual fee. Uh, the only thing is getting that Chase Sapphire Reserve is worth it. You get the $300 travel credit. So that brings that annual fee down to $150. Uh, and then it's just a matter of, of using some of the benefits that the, that the card has and using the card. You're going to use a card for a lot of your, your uh, restaurant. Well, let's see. You have the Amex Gold, so you're going to probably want to use the Amex Gold because you get four points for every dollar spent. Uh, but uh, I would still, I don't know. I would still use that Chase Sapphire Reserve. <laughs> I don't know. I like... Well, no, I, I don't know. That's a good one. If you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, do you use the Chase Sapphire Reserve for restaurants or do you use the Amex Gold for restaurants? Hmm. What do you guys think? Put it in the chat. But I, I would probably I would probably go with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. I'd probably get that card uh, to, to complement the Freedom card. Uh, and I guess it would depend, too, how many points you have on your Freedom card right now. Do you use your Freedom card a lot? So that has a rotating categories. Are you using those rotating categories and maximizing those points? Uh, if you are, then, yeah, you, you're going to want to jump into a Chase Sapphire Reserve or Chase Sapphire Preferred or Chase Inc. Preferred. You can go with that, too. Chase Inc. Preferred right now, 80,000 sign-up bonus. So it's a good card. You do need to have a business, so uh, you're going to need to provide that information. Uh, so in a business can be anything, just money that you're making on the side in a, in a you know, like um, first and last name business, if that's, if that's what you have. And then uh, use your social security number as your, your tax ID, which they allow you to do and they have it. When you're filling out the application, they will, uh, they will state that you can use your social security card or social security number. Uh, I have all three, all three uh, ink cards. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say that. I have three ink cards, but I have the older version of the Chase uh, Ink Preferred. So I have the Chase Ink Business Plus. So that's a better card. So I want to keep it. It just has better. It's just like the the cashback card, the Chase Ink Cash, but it offers a few more a few more perks in that card. Uh, and so I want to keep it. I don't want to do the. And there's no reason for me to get the the Chase Ink Preferred because I'm not getting a sign up bonus. So. I, I'm, you get five points for every dollar spent on that card. It just, it's just, like I said, all the the things that the Chase Inc. cash card has, you get with the Chase Inc. Business Plus. Okay. Um, all right, Streamlabs is saying, please like the video. So please, guys, like the video. Uh, just if you guys are in here and you have not liked the video, please do so. And let's go ahead and move on. Let's see. Uh, oh. Oh, I lost my place here. Let's go back up here. Oh, man. I really lost my place. Let me, let me find. So when I'm moving down, I like to say this so you guys know what I'm saying when I say I lost my place. It's like, how do you lose this place? He's just scrolling down. But if I scroll down and a message in the chat comes in at the same time, then it just shoots me all the way down to the bottom. So... That's what I mean when I say I lost my place because now I got to go back up and try to find out where I s left off. Uh, and I want to do that because I don't want to miss questions. So uh, let's see here. And I need to move relatively quickly because I see there's a lot of stuff in the chat. Uh, let's see. All right, I think we're here. Okay, yeah, we, we passed all this. Uh, and then I saw, David, that you had a question there about uh, lifetime stats. I don't know. That's a good question. I'm, I, I need to try to figure that out, I guess. But uh, I don't know if, you, if it does show lifetime stats. Uh, I'll, we'll, we'll have to figure it out, but we can do it by month anyway. So if you're the leader of this month and then the leader of the next month, we can kind of calculate it that way. So if you're the leader, but as far as like overall, how many hours and how many points, I don't know if it does that. Let's see. 
All right, where did we go here? And I saw a question too. Okay, Casey, what's going on, buddy? All right, yeah, we're around here somewhere. Here we go. Okay, so Peltwork is saying, trying to decide between the Freedom Unlimited, uh, a Sapphire, or the Amex Platinum. When you say a Sapphire, do you mean like the Sapphire Preferred or Sapphire Reserve? Uh, what other cards do you have? I mean, if I were to... If I were to, if I were able to get, and I guess if you're looking at the platinum, then you're you you are thinking about cards that are the higher end. Uh, if I were to get one of those cards right now, uh, between the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Freedom Unlimited, and the Amex Platinum, I would get the Chase Sapphire Reserve, and that's just the, that's just me. Okay, Amex Platinum would be second. That'd be the second card that I look at. Uh, the the Freedom card, the Freedom Unlimited is not it, it, it's not Especially now that they don't, the sign up bonus, you're not able, not to sign up, I'm sorry, the promotion that they were doing before is no longer uh, available. Uh, they were given 3% three, 3 or 3 points for every dollar spent for all purchases for the first year. But then after that, it's a good card to have to complement other cards that you already have because you get the 1.5 across the board. So uh, in all categories. So that makes it a good card in that sense. But the you want to get those other cards first and then get that cha the the freedom unlimited because you don't want to take up a slot too early with that freedom unlimited you're not getting much value with that uh, because you still need a chase sapphire reserve or chase sapphire preferred if you have the chase uh, uh unlimited the freedom unlimited if you want to use it for travel so if your intention is to use it for travel which looking at the amex platinum you're probably thinking about travel because amex platinum is good for travel but if you don't travel, the Amex Platinum is not a good card to get. Go with the Amex Gold uh, because the Platinum is for, it's designed for travelers. So if you're not traveling a lot, you're not going to get, you're not going to get the value out of that $550 you're paying every year. Uh, but the Chase Sapphire Reserve also for travel, but a really good card. I would really, I would really, I would get that card if that's, if that's where you're, what you're asking. Okay. Okay, who thinks they have the most amount of points in the room? <laughs> All right, David. <laughs> All right, this is going to be a good challenge <laughs> for, for uh, actually for this month. It's still, we can still do it this month. Dolly is not too far behind you. So if she jumps in and gets a few things going, she might be able to get up, get ahead of you there, David. Uh, Amex Platinum, no doubt. So David saying Amex Platinum, of course, he's going to say the Amex Platinum. But we, we have to know how much travel you're doing. You don't want to be in a situation where you don't travel very much uh, because uh, using the Amex Platinum for everyday spend, you're not going to earn that much when it comes to points. Uh, but for travel, booking your airfare, uh, there, if you book hotels through, what is it, Amex Travel, I think you get five points for every dollar spent. If you're booking directly with the airline, you get five points for every dollar spent. But then the other categories, that's where you're going to fall off. So if you're using it for everyday spend, it's not going to be that valuable. Whereas a Chase Sapphire Reserve, you have just a little bit more leeway. Although you're only getting three points for every dollar spent at restaurants, you still get three points for every dollar spent. You get the travel credit, so you get the $300 travel credit, so that's good. Uh, you get the Priority Pass restaurant credit, which is good. That's a great credit. So something else to think about. Uh, playing beer pong on my 21st birthday celebration. Uh, cool, man. Cool. Enjoy your time, man. Uh, let's see. All right. Okay, pelt work uh, after after the other two chase cards or the platinum in five twenty four slot. So let's see. Uh, I don't know if, what we're talking about here. So after the other two chase cards or the platinum in a five twenty four slot. Uh, so I think what you're asking is if the uh, to fill out your five twenty four slot. If you're getting another card, I think that's what you're saying. So if you have those cards already, or if you were considering another card besides those, I think that's what you're saying. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I'll answer it like this. Uh, if you, uh, if let's say you have those three, those three cards, those three cards already. So let's say you have the chase 
Inc. or the Chase Freedom Unlimited, Chase Sapphire Reserve, Amex Platinum, I would get the Amex Gold, uh, if that's what you're asking. Now, if you're asking for another Chase card, I always tell people, I mean, it's pretty, you know what, when it comes to Chase, you can get Chase, you can do it for under 524 if you're just starting out. And you do that by getting a Chase, let's see, a Chase Freedom card. This is what I would do. If I was just starting out and over time, not getting these cards all at once, but over time, let's say a span of eight months, 12 months, uh, I'd get the Chase Freedom card. I get the Chase, or I'd probably get the Chase Sapphire Reserve card first, the Chase Freedom card, the uh, the United uh, Explorer card. So either the, well, I'm not gonna say the business version. We'll just go with personal cards. The United Explorer card, and then the World of Hyatt card. Those are the four cards that I would get in with, with Chase. And then you can get other cards in the future, uh, but those four cards are the four cards that I would get. They give you the best value when it comes to the Chase ecosystem, okay? You can always get, you can always get some other cards in the future, but those are, those are all solid cards. The World of High card is solid because you can transfer your points directly from Chase, uh, the Ultimate Rewards Program, to a Hyatt, and you get good value with the transfer. And you can stay at a Hyatt place for, for a Category 1 hotel. You can stay at a Category 1 for 5,000 points. So you get really good value with that, with that Hyatt card. Um, all right, we, we're, it looks like we're slowing down with our internet. <laughs> Just notified me of that. Um, so if I go out, hopefully I'll come right back in, but uh, I'm getting an error. So anyway, uh, so you get really good value with the World of Hyatt card and transferring your points, it's, it's very valuable. Now you have IHG that's a partner with Chase. You have Marriott that's a partner with Chase. You don't get as, the, the value isn't as, as good with those cards, okay? So I would go with the World of Hyatt card. It's a really solid card. Uh, United, United is the easiest partner to use when it comes to Chase. It's a legacy carrier. Uh, you can book all your airfare and stuff through United and fly on different uh, Star Alliance partners. Uh, so you can do that. It's easy to transfer your points over to United uh, and you'll have the United card. So you have the free bag and the, and the priority boarding and you're, you're kind of setting yourself up. Now, th I'm, we're, I'm talking about for travel, right? So you're, you're kind of setting yourself up to, to w in the Chase ecosystem to travel and, and travel f pretty much at will wherever you want to go. So that's why I would say those cards. And then after that, then you start looking at some other cards. You might want to look at uh, American Express at that point. So you know what? Hey, let me look at American Express, get a couple of those cards. Maybe look at City, get the City Prestige or the City Premier. Uh, so you can look, look along those lines. But the first, if you're a beginner, the first four cards that you want to get are those four cards. That's, that's what I would recommend. Uh, and then you can kind of see where you are. Uh, what some people do, what I did is I got... Uh, I got three of those cards. I didn't get the United Explorer card until this year, but I got three of those cards, and then I went into the business, the business world. I have a photography business, so I went into the business world, got the Chase Inc. cards, got all three of those, and then I got the United Explorer card, the business version. So that's what I did. So right now, and I've told people this before, I don't have any, I'm 0 or 0 24 right now. I don't have any cards. Uh, that are that are showing up because the business cards are not going to show up. They're not going to count towards my 524. So right now I have nothing. I got those cards uh, years ago, two years ago, over two years ago. So I'm good when it comes to that category. Uh, so it's just something to think about. Okay, let's see. Let's see. David Sampel work after if you care about Chase, uh, don't get the Chase Sapphire preferred. Only Chase Sapphire Reserve. Yeah, I agree with David. Uh, I, I would go with the Chase Sapphire Reserve in, in, in pretty much any situation. It's, it's, it's a better card, and getting the Chase Sapphire Preferred, ultimately you're going to want a product change at some point to the Chase Sapphire Reserve. So why not just jump in there, get it? You're going to get the $300 travel credit. So it's not that much of a difference between the Chase Sapphire Preferred and the Chase Sapphire Reserve as far as the annual fee. Uh, so And, and that, that credit... You can use that for taxis and Uber and stuff like that. So even if you don't travel that year, you think, oh, well, I'm not going to travel every year. You can still use that credit. 
uh, for a variety of different things that are travel related. Maybe you're staying at a hotel for a night. Uh, you're not like travel, travel, like going out of the country, but you're going somewhere and you need to stay at a hotel. You can use that, that travel credit for that. Uh, restaurants, you're getting three points for every dollar spent. So it's just a really, really good card. All right, guys, please, uh, we're at 35 likes, which is really good. Can we please hit the like button if you have not done so, so we can bring some more people in. Uh, I always tell you hit the like button. The reason for it is it just helps the algorithm. So while we're doing this live stream, you hit the like button and it just, YouTube will shoot it out to other people and say, hey, you might want to watch this. And then we'll have more people come in. So I'm trying to get as many people in as possible because that's how we, uh, we help each other as a community. And we say, oh, yeah, you know what? I use this card. I have this card. This card's good for me. Plus, you'll have other, more people in here, more people asking questions. And you, it might be a question that you, you might have thought about or you might not have even thought about. And someone will present it, and then we can discuss it. Okay. Uh, so Jason's saying the Apple card has no foreign transaction fees. Does that make it a travel card? No, it's not a travel card. Uh, no, 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 no. A lot of cards have no foreign transaction fees, which is good. It's good, but it is it is not a travel card. It doesn't have uh, any 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 real travel benefits other than the no foreign transaction fee. Which I'm telling you, there are a lot of cards out there that that have that no foreign transaction fees, but uh, it doesn't have anything else. Like, is it giving you anything on travel? Uh, I don't think it is. <laughs> well, I guess if you well, Apple Pay, does that even? I don't even know if you can use that in other countries. I've never used, I don't have Apple products at all. So uh, no, it, it's not a travel card. Uh, let's see. All right, let's move on down. So if you have a question specifically for me, just put at TEC. I'm gonna kind of move down a little bit because I know I've, I've been talking a lot. So I'm a little behind here and I don't like being too far behind. Because if you ask a question, I want to be able to answer it uh, pretty quickly. Uh, we're staying in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Cool, Nate and Jess. You guys have fun out there. I've never been to Pittsburgh. Or I think I might have gone to Pittsburgh. Maybe the airport. Maybe. A long time ago. Uh, Justin, what's going on? Let's see. Uh, so Justin says he's at a high place in Mount Laurel tonight. Cool, man. 5,000 points. So that's category one. Nice room, free breakfast. Yes, yes. So that's another thing I love about Hyatt. The state of Hyatt Place or a Hyatt House, they offer free breakfast, which is huge because I like to eat. <laughs> uh, when I'm traveling, I, I always want to have a free, like I always want to have the free breakfast benefit. Uh, because uh, especially if I'm in another country, I like to be able to just go downstairs, get a breakfast, and then start my day. And usually, usually I'll go. I might snack around lunchtime, and then I'll eat dinner. Uh, that's kind of my routine. But uh, I like to have a breakfast. I don't like to have to think about, oh, I need to go here, I need to go there uh, to to find breakfast, or what are we going to eat, that kind of thing. Uh, I like just having the breakfast there in the morning. So uh, I'm big on Hyatt Place because of that. Uh, and so you have Hyatt Place and you also have Hyatt House. Now, Hyatt House, there's more of the long-term stay where they have the long, long-term stay, whatever, the extended stay. There you go. They, the extended stay where they have, like, the little kitchen and stuff in there where you can make your own food, uh, which is also a real, real good benefit, too. And I like that. Like, when I stay at Airbnb, the first thing that I do is I'll go to the, to the store um, and get some food. So I have just a little something so I can make food on my own if, 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 if that's the case uh, in the morning. Okay, uh, uh, Okay. so David's asking, you know, David, this is a good question. And Justin, I know Justin was mentioning some stuff yesterday about the whole manufactured spin. And uh, David's just asking, do you think it's uh, unethical uh, or theft? Now, the way that I see it, and Justin's saying no, I don't agree with manufactured spin, okay? And I I'll tell you some of the reasons why. So the main thing... Or I'll tell you the main. I'll tell you the main reason why. HD chilling. What's going on, buddy? Thank you for the super chat. Let's see. He's got a question, and then we'll we'll get back to that. Uh, Any Avianca Life Miles credit card? Or oh, is it worth getting? Uh, you know what? I have not looked at that card, but I, I will pull it up. I'll pull it up right after I have this discussion. We'll pull up the card and look at it. Um, 
Avianca is a Colombian airline, and yeah, that's one car that I never looked at. Their miles are good, though. Those life miles are really good. Uh, so uh, they, they give you some good value with those. Uh, but as far as manufacturer spin goes, uh, it, it, the way I look at it is like this. You can try to cheat the game, okay? When I say cheat the game, let's say you're getting points. Uh, you can try to cheat the game, but ultimately you might end up losing. And when I say losing, I mean you, 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 have a, you get these credit cards and you start doing the manufacturer spin. So for those of you who don't know, they're just, uh, let's say you have a minimum spin to hit. And this, this is what, what some people will do is they'll get a bunch of credit cards at once. So they'll say they'll get, and this was more common in the past. They've kind of made these different rules. 524 is one of the rules where they, they're, they're kind of keeping you from getting too many cards at once. Uh, so uh, people would get like three cards in the same day or get three cards in the same week. And so they need to hit the minimum spin on all three of those cards. And let's say the minimum spin is 3000 So you need to spend um, $3,000 within the first three months. Well, do most people spend, let's say if you have three cards, do most people spend $9,000 in three months? Probably not. So what do they do? They do the manufacturer spending. I'm not hip on all the different ways to do manufacturer spending because that's not, that's not me. That's not what I do. Uh, but some people get into that whole thing when they're, they're getting gift cards and, 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 um, and, and manufacturing the spend where they're getting a gift card. And Justin, I'm sure, could tell us more about it. But like getting a gift card and then turning it over back into cash so the money is just is not... They're buying something, but then it's just going right back to their to their bank account, so they're not actually spending any money. Uh, they're just manufacturing it. Uh, but like I said, you can play the game like that, but then if you lose, you lose all your points, plus you have a reputation now, so you might hurt yourself from getting credit cards from that company uh, again. So you could get blacklisted and not be able to get any credit cards. So in the long run, is it worth it? I don't think it is. I really don't because all you're doing is trying to get the sign up bonuses, right? So you can travel more. I play the long game. I don't play the short game. I'm not trying to get all these credit cards and, and try to um, have, get to a million points or something like that. I'm not trying to do that. I'm playing the long game where I'm getting cards when I need them. I'm getting the cards that I need. I'm using the cards correctly, like the way that they design them. The only thing that I'm doing that the credit card companies don't like is I'm paying it off every month. Right. So they're not getting any interest on me, which is fine. Like that's a part of the game. That's a part of the game that's acceptable. Um, but as far as doing other things where I'm trying to um, cheat the system, because that, that's that's what you're doing. Like you, you don't have the money. If you had the money, like I had no problem. I have no problem if someone has nine thousand dollars and they spend nine thousand dollars every every month. And, or every three months, and they get three cards, and they spend it the normal way, more power to them. Like, that, that's fine. But if you're trying to cheat the system, ultimately, you, you're going to end up, you're going to end up on, the, on the wrong end of that. And when, when you do, it's going to suck because all those points you worked so hard to get are going to be gone. So that's the way I feel about that. Yeah, I, I've never been a, a fan of that. And I know people are out there, and they're doing it and stuff. Uh, but it's just not a, I don't think it's a sustainable thing to do when it comes to points. So, all right, let's go ahead and move on. And we'll look at this Avianca card. And I have never looked at it before. I hope it's, is it in English? <laughs> let's see, Avianca. Now, I've flown on Avianca before. Very nice, actually a few times. Uh, very nice airline. It is the Colombian Airlines. So uh, I don't know exactly how to use Life Miles. I do know they're valuable, though, because uh, people will use them in different situations uh, to travel on, um, uh, on United, I believe. I think it is on United. Are they Star Alliance? I guess it's not saying. I believe they are a Star Alliance. They have to be a Star Alliance because I, I fl I've flown on them through, through United. Okay, uh, let, let me go ahead and pull this up. All right, here we go. So we're going to look at the Life Miles, Avianca, and they fly to different destinations, not just Colombia, but like South America, Central America. 
uh, but they do, uh, obviously they, they fly to the US, so they come here and then you can fly out with them. Uh, let's see here, which one do we look at? Let's look at the 149. Do they give me, oh, I like pulling up the big screen. I don't like looking at these little small things. All right, well, since they're not gonna let me, let me, we'll look at the, on the right side here first. Okay, so uh, $149 annual fee, and it doesn't look like it's waived the first year, so you do have to pay that. 40,000 bonus miles, uh, that's after uh, your first card use, so that's different, right? So just use the card, and you're gonna get the 40,000 miles. So go in the liquor store, buy some bubble gum, and there you go. Uh, let's see. Earn three life miles uh, for every dollar spent on Avianca purchases. So not the best, but I mean, it's comparable. Let's say if you're going to use it, uh, it's comparable to using the, the, the Chase Sapphire Reserve. You get three points every dollar spent. And then you're going to earn two life miles uh, at gas stations and grocery stores. So not bad. Two, gr at grocery stores, two, $2, for every $2, two points for every dollar spent at grocery stores is, is always is a good alternative to the Amex Gold. Uh, even though it's not four points, it's still more than one point per dollar, so it's pretty good. Uh, let's see, earn one life mile on all other purchases. Okay, no foreign transaction fees. 15% uh, discount on purchases with, uh, purchases of miles with multiple. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, so if I'm buying miles, I can get a 15% discount, which is not a lot. I mean, God, come on, you can give me more than that, but it's still not, it's still not that bad. Let's see, what else do we have on this card? Uh, additional 50% discount on any award ticket redeemed for travel uh, to Central America, Colombia for the United, from the United States after 24,000 to spend. Okay, wow, that's, I mean, you have to spend. Okay, 24,000, that's a lot of spend, but 50% uh, discount? on an award ticket, that's, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. So if you, you have to do a lot of flying in order to get that, or a lot of spend, I should say, in order to get that. All right, what does it say? Let me read this again. Or Columbia from United States after 24,000. Okay, yeah, yeah, so that does read right. Okay, zero APR for the first 12 months. I don't do balance transfers with these cards. The, the, the interest is just way too high. It's just not worth it. Uh, that, that's, that's, not my, that's not my style. Uh, if I'm gonna do a balance transfer, it's gonna be with uh, a credit card that doesn't have a high interest rate. So any of these, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, any of these cards like this, I'm not gonna do it. It would have to be a different card, not a travel card. Okay, uh, auto rental collision damage waiver, okay. Uh, travel uh, accident insurance, okay, it does have that. Uh, protection against unauthorized charges, that's good. Emergency card replacement, that's good. That should be <laughs> on all cards. Uh, sometimes they, they put these things in here and it's like, okay, yeah, you should have that. <laughs> but I guess it's, it's worth noting, okay? So let's say I'm in Colombia and I need to get, a, I lose my credit card and I need to get something expedited to me. So it's good to know that they will expedite a, a, a credit card to you so you can pay, <laughs> pay for your, for your, uh, your, you can continue on with your trip. Uh, let's see, let's offer details, need that. Pricing in terms of conditions, okay. So let's just look over the, the, uh, the Vita Visa. Uh, let's see, 20,000, that's after your first use, so that's good. So you're gonna get that. It's for a $59 annual fee, so less than a lot of the, the other cards that are out here. Um, and that's pretty much it, right? It has some of the other things, but not much. So interesting enough. Yeah, I think I think it's an interesting card. I I'm gonna keep going with what I'm doing right now with United, uh, but I think it is a good card, uh, and it is a Star Alliance. There's your little Star Alliance symbol there. Uh, but if I compare this to the, so the reason why I would compare it to a United card is because. United is gonna give me even more. Uh, now, if you travel to Columbia a lot like I do, then maybe this is a card to consider, but United gives me just a little bit more and I'm using points and I'm flying, I'm still flying to, to Columbia on Avianca, so I'm not losing out on much when it comes to that. Uh, 
because they're partners. So the only thing here, the grocery stores, uh, does United give that? I, I have the I have the other version of United, so I don't think they I don't think they give the grocery stores uh, on there. So that's a good one. Um, but other than that, uh, three points for every dollar spent. So you're getting a better value as far as the as far as the airline. It's like Explorer the Explorer card, United card is like two points for every dollar spent. So you are getting better value there. Uh, but yeah, it's it, it's a pretty good card, man. Hardy, I would uh, I would recommend it. I would recommend it. Okay, all right. Let's let's move on into the chat here. Okay. All right. And HD chilling. You're in our little marquee down here now. Our little uh, our little lower thirds there. Top of the. Top of the super chat for the month. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the Amex questions now. Yeah, that's good. David should keep his name with, with Amex on there so he gets all the Amex questions. <laughs> uh, I uh, just wanted to maximize my points. Okay, Darren, if you look. All right, so you guys are talking back and forth. Let me let me move on down here. Uh, all right, so you guys are getting in a good conversation. Okay, somebody's talking in all caps. What's here? Are the best for hotels for one reason? Uh, are best for hotels for one reason? Uh, you can have an experience with more than uh, one person. Oh, <laughs> you're saying life for business. I don't know what that means. Let's see, I don't see a problem with it. Uh, credit card companies make money uh, from merchant interchange fees, annual fees in other places uh, too, like interest. In yeah, so Justin's just saying that he doesn't see a problem. We're talking about manufacturer spending um, with credit card companies. They make money. It, see, the whole thing is, yes, I agree. They make money from merchants um, and annual fees, but it's still... It's still dishonest, okay? So you do sign an agreement when you get these credit cards. And I'm sure in the agreement it's not saying they, that they're fine with you manufacturing the spin. Uh, sure, they're going to make money on the, on the exchange, uh, but it's not the way they intended for the cards to be, to be used, right? So uh, you're, you run a risk of, of getting your account shut down. That's, that's my whole thing. And I enjoy travel using points and so i'm gonna play by the rules because i don't want to lose lose out on getting the points and be in a situation um Dwayne from how to build credit uh, tv i had him on the show a couple weeks ago and he he's at a point right now because they and you go to you go to his channel he's got a he's got real good content on his channel uh but he's in a situation right now where he can't get any more chase cards and he wants to travel more and use points to travel. Uh, he still has American Express uh, cards. I think he does have some Capital One cards. Um, but he, he wants to use, he wants to get some Chase cards. Because Chase cards are, I mean, let's face it, American Express, Chase, those are the two top dogs when it comes to the travel. Uh, so you want to have, you, you really want to have both. But... You don't want to do, and I'm not just talking about manufacturer spending. I'm just talking about your reputation in general. So it could be a variety of different things, why, a variety of different reasons why you get shut off from a, a company, a bank. But uh, the way that I roll is I want to play by the rules, okay? Now, I'm not giving them any extra money. I'm not giving them any of my interests. Like, I'm, like I'm not, I'm, I'm going to pay my bills on time every, 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 uh, every two weeks. So I'm not giving them that, but as far as the other stuff, yeah, I'm going to play by the rules. I'm not trying to overspend uh, because what you're doing is you don't have the money, so you're manufacturing the money. So it's not a, you know, it's not a, uh, what's the word I'm looking I can't think of the exact word, but you're not, you're not doing it the way that it was designed. You're finding loopholes to try to try to create something that's really not there. So yes, it could be flagged and yes, they could pull your account. Now, 
if you don't feel like, if you feel like it's okay and appropriate, I'm sure if you call that credit card company and, you know, you were anonymous and just said, hey, you know, is this okay for me to do? They're going to tell you no. <laughs> but if you call that same credit card and you, and your credit card company and you tell them, um, you know, I'm thinking about paying my credit card off every two weeks. Is that something that's appropriate for me to do? They're going to tell you, yeah, you do whatever you want to do when it comes to that. But if you're talking about manufacturer spending, they're, they're going to tell you, no, that is against our policy. I guarantee that. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. All right, life for a business. I don't know what we're talking about here, but both hotels and flights are very, very nice uh, mixture, my friend. I don't know what we're talking about. I, we, I must have said something and <laughs> or maybe answered one of your questions. I can't remember what it was. So if you could refresh my memory, I would, I would appreciate it. But yeah, I don't know what, what the topic is here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Okay, let's see here. All right. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please uh, put it in the chat. I'm coming down to the bottom here, so... Uh, Julio, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I'm planning to go to Medellin for Labor Day weekend. Uh, that's if I can find award availability. Uh, cool. Cool. You'll have a blast there. Um, when exactly? You said the weekend. Are you just going for the weekend or are you going to go for a little time after that? Medellin is good. You're going to want to spend at least five days there, though, at least five days in order to kind of get around and, and see some of the city. So if you're just going for the weekend, it might be pretty tough to, uh, to uh, really get around. Uh, there's certain places, and you can hit me up if you want to hit me up about different places to go. Uh, you can hit me up on the WhatsApp group. You can get in there and, and send me a question or, or, yeah, send me questions there or even on the Facebook group. Just message me. Don't just put it in the, in the, sec the comment section. Make sure you message me, and I'll, uh, I'll tell you some different places to go. Uh, like tourist places like uh, Guatape. Guatape is a very nice place to go. You can hike up this hill. Not hill. It's a rock. Uh, it's pretty cool. But it's an hour and a half away. So a lot of the things in, in Medellin, you're going to have to, you might have to travel a little to get there, a little ways to get there. Uh, so just be aware of that. It might take you some time. Okay. All right. Let's see, if you're using Amex and apply for a Chase card, uh, you have to hit the minimum spend on the Chase card. Uh, will Amex say you're doing uh, bonus abuse if you start spending on Chase cards instead of Amex? I don't know. I don't think so. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. No, you do want to show activity on your cards. You don't want to just not use your card for... Like I would, use, I would show some activity at least every six months, and that could be just going into a store and buying a, a stick of bubble gum or something. But at least show some activity, uh, so they won't uh, have a reason to to close your account. But uh, yeah, you, I don't, I don't see any, I don't see any problem with that. Okay, so David said, yeah, they no, they have no way of seeing that. Okay, always a set auto pay so you don't. Uh, get late payments, uh, never know what's, what can happen. So that's Michael saying that, yeah. I, I, I am going to do that now, um, but I didn't do that in the past. And I never, like, I always pay it off. But, yes, anything can, can happen. And after a um, uh, person put that in, I think they put it in the comment section, uh, yeah, it made, made me think, like, yeah, you know what? That, that is a good point. At least have it in place so if anything goes wrong, it's taken care of. Uh, and you don't have to worry about it. Another thing, too, is like, let's say you have a sock drawer card. Uh, I have the Advantage card, the American Airlines Advantage card. I don't use that card. 
uh, ever. <laughs> and, and I just said that, like, I use it every once in a while. It's, it's actually in my, in my car. So I'll pull it out every once in a while, swipe it through, get some gas, and then I'm good. Um, but I don't use the card other than that because there's just, just no value in it. Um, but I should have auto pay on that card just in case that annual fee hits and I don't know about it and or I forget, well, at least it will pay that off. Or if I have the get the gas, it's $50 on there. So, you know, it'll pay that off. It's never going to be a lot. Uh, the only danger is I do need to, you still need to watch it because, um, and I can get notifications too. I, you know, I'm going to look into it get all that stuff dialed in because so I can get notifications too. So I get notified if the card was used because you don't want to have auto pay and then someone go out and spend a couple grand and then auto pay <laughs> pays it. And then you're like, Whoa, what is this? I didn't buy this. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Everybody's checking their points. I love it. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, we're at almost at 40 likes. Please hit the like button if you have not done so. So if you just came in the room, hit the like button. We're trying to get up to 50 likes uh, for the, for the uh, live stream. And we are, we are we're close. We're very close. So please hit the like button if you can. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is this? Uh, Sunshine, what's going on? So Sunshine Rocks, am I getting that right? Uh, F424 just got the Chase Freedom Unlimited and Sapphire Preferred. What would be the next Chase travel card you suggest? Uh, I was thinking Hyatt before I moved on to other brands. Uh, so you were thinking Hyatt before, or I was thinking Hyatt before I moved on to other brands, or moved on to other brands. So did you move on to other brands? I don't know, am I reading that right? <laughs> I would go with Hyatt. Hyatt is the best value that you're going to get with Chase. If you want to stay in that Chase ecosystem, uh, unless there's some reason, like you had a really bad experience and you continue to have bad experiences with Hyatt, uh, I, I would recommend getting that Hyatt card. Um, and then look at an airline branded card too. Uh, and then with the Chase Sapphire Preferred, at some point I would look at upgrading it, or not upgrading, but product changing it to the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Uh, so, uh, if you're asking, you're at 424, so you can only get one card. If you have a business, that would be really good. If you make money outside, let's say you sell Amazon, you sell um, eBay on a, on a regular basis, you sell some stuff on eBay, but you make money outside of, of your normal job. Uh, if you do, then I would look at getting the United Explorer business card and then getting, getting the Hyatt card. I just think the Hyatt gives you the best value. Now, you can go with IHG. IHG, they just, they just uh, launched that, uh, or they just uh, upped the sign-up bonus with that card. It's a good card. The points are just, they don't, they don't transfer well. So when I say they don't transfer well, you have points in the Ultimate Rewards program. When you transfer them over, you're not gonna get a really, you're not getting good value with that. So you, you, wanna, you wanna be careful, be very careful uh, with that because how can I say this ISG points you get a good sign up bonus you can stay a few nights with the with the ISG points but then once those points are done once those points are once you've used those points in, in, in on that card then now you're going to be in a situation where the card doesn't earn that that well after that first year after that first year the earn possibility on that card is not very good so you're going to want to, if you want to stay a night at an ISG property, you're going to be transferring points from uh, the Ultimate Rewards program. And so the value, you're just going to lose a lot of value with that transfer. So just something to think about. But yeah, I would go with a business card if you could. If not, I like Hyatt. I really do. If you have a real reason why you don't want Hyatt, then that makes sense. Uh, ISG or Marriott uh, is, is your other options if you want to do the hotels. Okay, uh, and then David's saying, yeah, get the Chase Inc. business cards uh, before the Hyatt. And you can do that. If you qualify, 
you can go through the whole, all ink, all three of the ink cards, and <laughs> you'll, you'll have 180, 180,000 points uh, with those cards alone. 80,000 for the preferred, the ink preferred, uh, 50,000 for both the ultimate or the unlimited and the, uh, the, the cash card. So those are excellent cards. So if you qualify for that, that would be good. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, let's see, TC, what wallet do you use? So wallet, oh, I don't have it with me. I showed it, you know what? What's in my wallet? Check that video out. And I showed the wallet and I talked a little bit about it. It's just a, like a money clip. That's what I carry. Uh, the reason, the main reason that I do that is I wanna have it in my front pocket. When I travel, when I, I have it in my front pocket all the time now, but uh, before, back in the day, it was when I traveled, I always had it in my front pocket. And I always had my, <laughs> my finger, like my thumb in the pocket. Uh, so just in case you get on a subway or what, what have you, your hand is there so no one can just take it from you. Uh, never carry, I never carry my wallet in the back pocket, so uh, that's just my routine there. Okay, uh, and it's a cheap wallet. It, it's, God, it's like 20 bucks, maybe, maybe 25 bucks, something like that. Amazon, Amazon purchase. Okay. TC, get a passport card. Uh, so, oh, so you're saying get a passport card. You know what? That's a, yeah, I could, I could. Uh, I, I just, it, it, it's, it's good for that. For an ID, it's good. But I don't use it for anything else. But uh, yeah, that, that does make sense to have a passport card uh, for situations like that when you're out in another country. You can have a copy of your ID and then have the passport card. Yeah, and that's what uh, Peltwork is saying. You can't, you can't use it to fly into another country, but you can use it to cross the border. Uh, if you're walking across or driving across, you can also use it for um, cruise, cruises and stuff like that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see, Michael S. I don't have any business cards. I uh, just didn't know. If those were hard to get, like something, documentation. Yeah, you don't have to have any documentation, uh, Sunshine, but you do want to have a business. You don't want to lie. So if you, and when I say have a business, I mean sell something on the side that you consider a business, a sole proprietor business. Uh, so uh, you file on your taxes. Yes, I sell this product and I make $600 a year or something like that, whatever. Just something like that. They're still going to look at your regular income and they're also gonna do your credit uh, check because they're gonna, you're gonna, using your social security number. Uh, so they are gonna do all that, but you, you do need to have, like it, it's a pretty loose definition of a business uh, for them, uh, but you don't wanna just say, you don't wanna just completely lie and say, yeah, I, I have this business and you don't have anything because they could ask, ask God, they could ask you for documentation. And uh, I've never, knock on wood, I haven't been in that situation. They've never asked me for documentation. But they could, and if they do, well, then obviously you wouldn't be able to provide anything if you don't have a business. So uh, you don't want to you don't want to mess with it like that. Okay. Uh, Wade, Wade Armstrong, what's going on? What are your tips on building a better credit score faster? Um... So there are different things that you can do. Uh, the, the main thing that I find that works or that worked for me, and let me just say, my credit score was always around 700, always. Like I, I, I haven't, I've never had like really you know, bad credit or anything. It was always around 700. But I did notice my, my credit score increase um, when I started getting credit cards, believe it or not. I didn't get them all at once, it took time. So it took me about three years of getting credit cards for my, my credit score to, to jump up and it's gone up uh, about 70 points. Uh, so uh, it, it's gone, uh, it's, a, you know, it's, 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 it's up there now. But uh, there, there are a few things you can do. Let's say your credit is really bad right now. Get a secured credit card. So get out there, secured credit card, basically you're gonna need to put a deposit in, maybe $200, I'm just using an example. $200, that sets your credit limit. Your credit limit's $200. Uh, you have $200 in, in, you know, in the, in the, as a deposit. You still need to pay your credit card off every month. 
like I said, I would pay it off every two weeks. Just make sure you, you, you take care of it. And then over time, like four to six months of doing that consistently, and some credit card companies will tell you that, uh, four, five months of consistent payments, then we will make it unsecured and give you a higher, a higher credit limit. Uh, so at that point, once you get it unsecured or they increase your credit limit, then, then you can start looking at, okay, well, let me, if you want to get into travel credit cards, look at your credit score. If you're around 680 or above, then you're good. Even if you're a little bit lower than 680, let's say you're 650, you're good at, you're, you're probably good to get some of the cashback cards or like the Chase Freedom card, the Chase Freedom Unlimited. You're probably good to get those cards. And then from that point, then you can kind of graduate up. So once you get to around 700, 720, then you, you should be able to qualify for like a Chase Sapphire uh, Preferred or Chase Sapphire Reserve. Uh, and Chase Sapphire Reserve, they want a higher income level, so you're gonna have to look at that too. I don't know the exact numbers. No one knows the exact numbers. Another thing to consider is going with, uh, like say you get a, a secured credit card, and then go with what your bank is offering. So if your bank, they always, Banks always like to push these different credit cards uh, your way. So if you do bank with Chase, they're going to give you offers and say, hey, you might qualify for this card. Uh, another, you know, if, you, if you're with another bank, then you might want to get one of their cards first just to see if you can get a credit limit, uh, on, you know, a regular credit card with them, and then look at getting some of the travel credit cards. Uh, another thing uh, that I have, and I see, I get this all the time, like I have the Experian uh, credit checker, tracker or whatever it's called. Uh, I paid for that, so it's like $20, $24 a month or something like that. I've had it forever. Uh, I'm probably going to switch it over to the, uh, you know, do the, the Equifax, that whole thing, do the claim, because I am affected by that whole thing, but do the claim and have, the, the, have them do the, the credit uh, monitoring because they're, they're using experience. So if it's the same one that I'm using now that I'm paying money for, then I'll, I'll probably just switch over to that one. Uh, but... Every so often, they send me, you, you might qualify, or you're pre-qualified for all these different credit cards. They send it to me all the time. It's ridiculous. Uh, and 99% and of them is like, eh, no, nah, I, don't, I don't want those. Like, there, some, of them are, some of them are good. Like, they'll have the Chase Freedom, Chase Freedom Unlimited, and, and they know the cards that I have, so they don't offer me, like, the Chase FI Reserve because they know I already have it, but... Uh, yeah, they, they give me these pre-qualified things. So it gives you kind of an idea. You can always walk in a bank, too. You can walk in Chase and say, hey, uh, I'm just, you know, they can, they can kind of give you an idea. If, you're, if you bank with Chase or if you don't bank with Chase, maybe open up an account with Chase. Uh, that might help you, too. Open up an account, put a couple hundred, hundred bucks in there, and then just kind of wait a little bit. So get a secured credit card, put 200 bucks in there. Do that, then go to Chase, put a 200 bucks in there, get like a, some kind of checking account that they have, uh, and then just wait it out, wait till your credit gets, gets up there to around 650 to 700 uh, in that range, and then you can go into the, into the Chase Bank and say, hey, I'm just wondering if I qualify for any, any credit cards, and they'll run it, and then they'll tell you, yeah, yeah you, you're pre-qualified for this, you pre-qualified for that. They're not doing a hard pull, so you don't have to worry about that, uh, but you, want, you do want to ask... I would always double check. <laughs> You're not doing a hard pull, right? And then they can kind of give you an idea. They, they shouldn't do a hard pull for a, for a pre-approved a pre credit card. Uh, but uh, yeah, just I would go that route. Okay. Uh, Flashpoint, wait, authorized user is probably the fastest. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. That's a good one. So... Um, Let's see, what else did he say about that overall credit? All right, so authorized user, if you're not familiar with authorized users, uh, basically someone will uh, make you an authorized user of their card, okay? So let's say it's a family member, they have good credit, uh, they've had a credit card for a long time, and then they make you an authorized user, okay? So they don't even have to give you the card, they can just make you an authorized user, and they will do, um, uh, a hard pull, and so they'll do a hard pull. I believe they do it. Yeah, they, I'm pretty sure they do a hard pull. They do a hard pull, and then once they do that, then you are an authorized user for uh, under this person, okay? The, the good thing about that is if they have good credit, you're going to inherit their credit, okay? So you inherit their credit and their credit as far as the history of that, that account. So that can help your, your credit really fast. 
so, I mean, we're talking, it could be a month, two months, and your credit will, will reflect that, that new credit card, or not new credit card, that credit card, because now you're an authorized user, you're gonna get the history if, it's a, if they've had that credit card for 10 years and they've been uh, in good standing for 10 years, you inherit that, so that, that will, will drastically affect your, your credit in a positive way. Uh, so yeah, that, that's one that I forgot. Uh, thanks, Flash Boy Capital. This is, I'm telling you, you gotta check his channel out. He's got a lot of good information. Uh, so yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, okay, and then yeah, so I guess Sunshine asked that. I didn't see that, but yes, you can get as many business cards as you want, uh, as they will allow you to get, I should say, but get those three ink cards and it's not gonna take up any slots. So if you're 424, you get three business cards, you're still 424. And then you get the Hyatt card and now you're 524. What you don't wanna do um, is get the Hyatt card. If you're 424 and you get the Hyatt card, now you're 524. And now they're not gonna allow you to get those, those uh, business cards. Because once you hit 524, they're not gonna allow you to get any cards. I don't care if they're business cards or what, you're not gonna be able to get anything. So what you wanna do is get the business cards first and then get the Hyatt card. Okay, let's see. All right, Flashpoint offering a lot of info there. CJ, what's going on? I'm willing to pay for a premium economy, but uh, first, but first and business class are way out of my reach, if not using points. I can't think of a good reason to actually pay for them on my time. Yeah, I agree. It, paying for first class, business class, yeah, it's. I wouldn't do it, but I would use points all day. <laughs> and I'm, I've, I've become accustomed to flying business class or first class now. And so I will go use extra points just to, uh, just to do that, especially if it's a long flight. Okay, but I just like the, the whole overall experience. Like a good example, when I'm going, uh, when I go to Columbia um, in October, Flying business class, the whole experience is better. So I'll go to LAX, I'll get there early. I'm probably gonna get there like five hours before my flight. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to, P I already have my whole thing planned out. I'm going to PF Chang's, I'm getting my $30 credit with the priority pass that I have with my Chase Sapphire Reserve. Sit down, have a nice meal, uh, get some food to go because usually it's enough. Like PF Chang's, you can, I've already done this once, so I kind of know the routine, but you can get you can get some extra, you can get two, well, actually, I might try something different this time. So I'll go to P.F. Chang's, I'll get a meal, right? And then I have two hours, so two hours before, every, I'm sorry, every two hours it refreshes, the priority pass does. So technically I can go to P.F. Chang's, have a meal, if I, if I get there five hours before my flight, have a meal, and then go to the lounge, and because I'm flying business class, I'll go to the Star Alliance Lounge, which is a, an amazing, amazing lounge. Uh, go hang out in the lounge, just relax, maybe have a drink or two, whatever. Actually, I don't drink, what am I saying? So I'll, I'll, I'll drink some soda or something. But anyway, just go relax. It's a nice view. You're overlooking the uh, international uh, part of the airport of uh, the Tom Bradley International uh, Airport in Los Angeles Airport, Tom Bradley Terminal. So I can overlook and just kind of people watch hang out there for a couple of hours, then go to another restaurant, because they have another restaurant there, or I think they have two other restaurants with the Priority Pass. Go there and then get a meal. And if they don't do it to go, then just sit down, get the meal, take a few bites. Hey, I gotta get, catch my flight, can you pack this up? Pack it up and then go, take it on the plane and then have it halfway through if I wanna do that. Uh, yeah, so that could be an easy, easy setup there. But I'm just saying, I get a, you get accustomed to flying business class, and not just flying business class, but having the little perks, the lounge access that they give you, the lounge access that you would not get in a normal priority pass. Uh, so that's good. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, hey, we're down at the bottom, cool. All right, guys, any other questions for me, please put in the chat. Uh, David saying P.F. Chang sounds really good right now. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's not my favorite, but it's free. <laughs> so <laughs> free is always my favorite. 
But if I had to choose, like, if I was paying for food and I had to choose one or the other, or, like, P.F. Chang's or another place, I probably would choose another place. It, it's, not, uh, it's, not, it's not the best, uh, in, just in my opinion. Okay, that didn't work. What didn't work? Whom? Don't like? I don't think so. I'm going to try now. I don't know. What, what were you trying to do there, Michael? Um, all right. So you guys are you guys are getting used to the whole loyalty points thing. I hope that's that's a good thing uh, that you guys are using it. Uh, we have what do we have? Forty six likes. Four more likes to hit fifty. Please, if you guys have not done so, please hit the like button uh, so we can promote this out to more people and then hit that fifty like uh, status. Let's see here, Julio. Uh, I carry two Priority Pass uh, cards. Uh, that way I don't have to wait two hours uh, to use a Priority Pass lounge. That's good. And David has like four of, well, actually, a couple of his he can't use anymore for for that purpose, the restaurant credit. Uh, or maybe one. Excuse me. <laughs> maybe one. I don't know how many cards he has, but I know he does have the American Express Platinum, so he can't use that one anymore. Um, yeah, it's it's good to have a few different Priority Pass cards. Uh, that that would uh, definitely help out. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> David said, "I love these random live streams." <laughs> yeah, I kind of hinted yesterday that I would probably do one today, but yeah, it is it is pretty random. I'm also looking to like what is a what is the perfect night for a live stream? I guess, or when do I get the most traffic? Uh, when it comes to live stream. So I'm looking at that as well. Uh, TEC, six passes, uh, four from Amex that don't work. Oh, but you have two. You still have two that work. So that's good. All right, guys, any other questions? Go ahead and feel free to put it in the chat. And let's see. If you guys are new here and you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, there's a few different reasons why you want to do that. One, I do live streams every Saturday and every Monday. Uh, and that reminds me, uh, before I even say the rest of what I was going to say, we're going to start doing uh, Flashpoint and uh, Flashpoint Capital and and I are going to start doing a live stream on Monday. Uh, so we're going to, not this Monday, but I, I'm doing a live stream Monday, but it won't be this kind of setup. But we're going to start doing a show every Monday. So we'll do it on my channel one week and on his channel another week. And we're just going to go back and forth kind of like that. Uh, so we'll bring on guests and everything, but we'll have kind of a, you know, we'll have a live stream that we're doing. Uh, so uh, something to look forward to. Uh, we'll be we'll be tag team in the, these live streams talking about travel credit cards uh, and just travel experiences. Uh, so that that'll be a good deal. Uh, so that will be coming in the future. Our show. <laughs> and then I, I still will be doing live streams on Saturday and I will be doing another live stream a different day. I just haven't figured out what, when that's going to be. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll still be doing them. Who knows? Maybe one day it's just going to be live streams five times a week or something crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I really enjoy doing live streams. I love the, the, the interaction in the community. I, I really like that. So uh, it's something that I, I want to continue to do. So uh, we'll, we'll see where it leads. But for sure, on Mondays, we're going to do, it's going to be, I think, I think it's going to be 7. I don't know what time. Actually, no, it's probably not going to be 7. It'll probably be earlier than that. Um, so, yeah, that, that is the plan. All right, let's see. What do we have here? Uh, okay, what, what did I miss here? Are you planning on getting any more background props? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What else do I need? <laughs> I don't want to have it too cluttered. Actually, this thing up here, that's a sciences travel. Yeah, I'm probably going to get something else there. I don't, I don't like that up there. Maybe a plant or something. It's, you can't read half of it. And so, yeah, I, I probably will switch that out for something else. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty just, I'm satisfied with what, what's there already. At some point... At some time, maybe uh, I'll do something more where I'll have, like, um, viewers, if they want to send stuff, they can send stuff, and I can put it on the shelf. Uh, so that might be something that I do in the future. Uh, so uh, let me know if you guys are interested. Like, not, I don't know. 
it's kind of hard. Like I don't, I'm not saying anything expensive. I'm just saying like you might want to get something and not something big. Like if you see that little figurine there, I got that on my trip to Kauai. Um, but little things like that that I could just kind of set up on the shelf. Uh, and, and have it there so when you watch you can say hey, hey, hey I got that for him <laughs> maybe on a trip maybe that would be a good thing like a souvenir from a trip that you went on and and I can display it and, and we can talk about it so yeah something that, I, that I'm thinking about I will be getting a not a PO well yeah I'm gonna get a PO box um, I've had people ask me uh, about hey do you have a PO box you know I want to send you something that kind of stuff so uh, I will be doing that uh, in the future too so, all right, let's see, who do you have uh, scheduled for the community live stream tomorrow? I have you, you're scheduled for it. <laughs> I'm kidding, but uh, uh, Braveheart's gonna do, he's gonna be there, uh, I talked with him earlier, and that's it. <laughs> so, if anybody else wants to come on the show, let me know, uh, just, uh, just hit me up, you can hit me up in the WhatsApp group, you can hit me up uh, in the comment section below, and we can... Uh, we can work something out. Uh, but, uh, yeah, for right now, it's going to be Braveheart. And then next next Monday, we're going to we're gonna start our show, uh, Flashpoint Capital and I. And then we will have guests on there as well. So we'll, we'll be doing that. Uh, so that, that should be fun. Uh, it'll be kind of a, a variety show with, with, the, with all of us on there. <laughs> okay. Uh, you didn't answer my question. What question was that? Let's see. On Hyatt Booking. What was your question? What was your question, Michael? Uh, yeah, did the Five Sweet Nights. What was your question, though? Uh, let's see. When did you ask the question? All right. A ask me the question again. I'm reading. I'm looking back, and I'm, I can't find the question that you had there. Let's see. Based on your Hyatt knowledge, uh, how likely is Hyatt going to stand by a reservation that was made during a suspected glitch? Uh, got a typical nineteen hundred and fifty dollar two night stay for three hundred and thirty two dollars. Wow, man! You could have given us a heads up on that. And did you know about the glitch? Did you get a text or, or like, did you get, not a text, but did you get like a heads up on that? Because that happened to me. Um, and I'll tell you my experience. And they honored it. So uh, in Paris, uh, in the Paris, the Hyatt Regency in Paris, the Hyatt Regency Etoile in Paris, they had a glitch too. And so I got this information from the points guy. They put it up. He put it on his, uh, he put it out on Twitter and I was following his Twitter. It was like three in the morning and I look at my Twitter and I'm like, Hey, it might be a mistake, but they have the E12, Hyatt Regency E12 for uh, $21, <laughs> $21 a night. And so, uh, I jumped online I pulled it up. Sure enough, $21 a night. And I'm like, wow, this is, uh, this is cool. <laughs> so I booked it. $114, gave me my confirmation, said, enjoy your stay in, at, at the Hyatt Regency Etoile. And so then I went back to the blog because they posted a, a, a Twitter link, or Twitter, they posted on Twitter, but it was actual, you know, a blog post. And so looked in the comments section and they were going over and everyone was saying, oh yeah, yeah, I see it there and I got it and I got it. And then it got down to a point, I'd say about an hour and a half later where people were saying, no, it's no longer available. Uh, so then I went back to look to see what the the room rate was. It was like six hundred and fifty dollars or something crazy a night, and I booked five nights. <laughs> so, so I waited. I didn't I didn't call them. I didn't do anything. I just waited, and they did honor it. Like a week and a half later, they sent an email out saying that we had a glitch in our system, but um, we're going to honor your stay. So enjoy your stay, and that was it. I was like, wow, okay, <laughs> this is great. And that kind of sold me with, with Hyatt. That, see, that, like I'm saying, customer service, they didn't have to do that. A lot of companies wouldn't have done that. They would have set up, you know, we had a glitch, I'm sorry, we're going to have to cancel your reservation. Uh, but they honored it, and it cost them. 
So that person probably got fired. <laughs> Unfortunately, I shouldn't laugh about it. It's not a, it's not good. But yeah, that person probably lost their job because there were there was more people than just me that got in on that deal. And you imagine six hundred and fifty dollars a night, and I was staying there. What what did I say? Five nights. So that's like three. God, what's the math on that? I can't even think that. It's like four thousand dollars, four thousand dollars of value that they were just giving away because of someone making a mistake. So, yeah, that's a that's yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's more than four thousand. What is that? Do the math, somebody, for me. Six thousand, right? Is that right? Oh. Uh... Yeah, what was it? Five, so three thousand. Yeah, it's like fifty-two hundred or six thousand, something like that. I don't know. I don't have a calculator in front of me, but it's a lot of money. So to answer your question, Michael, yeah, you know what? They probably will honor it. If if, if that was any indication, uh, they probably will honor it. Uh, so enjoy, man. That that that's nice if you get that. That's definitely a a good uh, good little catch there. But I want to know how you found out. Because I've been looking for those deals ever since then. And the, the thing that really got me is I didn't book more nights. Like I should have booked seven nights or, you know, I'm being greedy now, I know. But I just booked five nights to book five nights. What the heck am I booking five nights for? I should have booked seven nights or so. And I did go on the trip, and it was, it was, it was an amazing trip. Uh, the only thing they didn't let me do is they would not let me change my reservation. So once you booked it. That's it. They'll honor it, but you're, you can't make any changes to it. Because obviously people would be like, okay, well, I'll add a couple of nights. <laughs> so, yeah. And I ended up, I did end up adding a night. Um, did I? Actually, no, no, no. I take that back. I had to change my nights when I got there. Because I didn't realize the, the <laughs> I screwed up. <laughs> The day, the day change, right? I screwed up, and so they had to adjust it. I was already there. They in customer service again, right? I was already there, so they adjusted it for me uh, because of the the day that I came in was a day early or something like that. And I I totally did it by mistake. Like I wasn't, I booked my airfare. I just did that all wrong. Um, all right. Okay. And Jason just subbed to Flashpoint's channel. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing that. He's got a real good channel. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Uh, should have a live stream marathon December 1st through December 28th uh, for the road to 10,000. That is a good suggestion. The only problem, Christmas, Christmas Eve is fine. I don't sell We don't celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, yeah, you know what, yeah, I could do it, I could do it. I think that would really get the push going. Yeah, you know what, that sounds like a good idea, David. It does. That's, 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 except for the 28th on my birthday, I might jump in for a minute. I don't, yeah, you know what, that, yeah, I could, I could do that. I could do that. Well, let, let's plan for that. So we'll do a marathon from the 1st to the 28th. All right. Uh, so yeah, Dave, you should be on my marketing team, man. <laughs> he has some good ideas. All right, Julio, let's see. I applied for the Charles Schwab checking account uh, again for the third time. I believe this time they will let me keep it because they issued the account numbers. So what happened the other two times? Let's see. They closed the account because of my bad credit. Okay. Oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Now my credit's still bad. A high score is 667 experience. 667 is not bad credit. Um, yeah, yeah, hopefully they they allow you to keep it. Uh, that's a good card to have. You're traveling. Uh, no, and I, I used it for the first. I didn't I haven't traveled outside the country uh, since I got it. I, I only I've only had it for maybe two two months, but I used it for the first time because I started thinking about it. Like, I'd, I've never used this card. Like, I've never gone to the ATM and used it. So I wanted to make sure it actually works before I just travel out somewhere. I only have it for travel. That's the reason that I got it, uh, because they, they uh, credit your fees. So if you have any ATM fees or anything like that, they credit your fees all over the world. So uh, that's the reason that I did that. 
Uh, those fees can get really pricey if you're in another country and you're using the ATM on a regular. I don't use the ATM very often. Uh, I, 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 use every, I use my credit card for pretty much all my purchases, but I do go to the ATM to get some cash. So I have it for cabs. I have it for uh, any situation where I, I, I can't use a, a credit card. So uh, I will pull some money out, and it's nice to know that I have a card where I don't have to pay any extra fees. Uh, there's no foreign transaction fees on that card either, so that's good. So hopefully that works out for you, Julio. Uh, let's see, uh, Julio, I've had nothing but issues with this swab account. I uh, still can't even link my bank account. Wow, okay. I've had a, a decent experience. Like, I haven't had any problems with them. They, they actually called me, too, to kind of give me some information on how to uh, do the brokerage stuff. Uh, and I got the $100, the $100 uh, uh, reward that they give out, which is, which is cool. So I need to call them back because when they called me about like, and they asked me if I had any questions or anything about like doing the brokerage stuff, uh, I told them no, but I do want to get into it more. So I'm putting more and more money on there and I actually have it auto uh, money that just automatically goes into my Charles Schwab account. Uh, so every, every time, every month I have some money that goes over there. So uh, I will start doing some some stock trading. Uh, let's see. And David's saying he would send me stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna. I will get. I will get a uh, probably. I don't know. One of these. Probably not a PO. I'm not really a big fan of PO boxes, but maybe like uh, UPS. They have like boxes as well. Uh, I might. I might go ahead and do one of get one of those. I actually might. I will go ahead and get one of those. That's something I've been been meaning to do. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, not so you guys will send me stuff, but if you do want to send stuff, yeah, I, you know, I'll have, I'll have something because I've had people ask me before, and just as as a business, you know, period, you should have something uh, outside of your, you know, because I have the photography business is a, you know, I do it out of my out of my home. It's not like I'm, I have a studio or anything like that. Okay, let's see. All right, got more people checking their points, checking the top hours. <laughs> this is all David, isn't it? <laughs> and you will time out too when you're doing your checks for your points. I think every 10 minutes you can check, but if you try to do it like every five minutes, it's not gonna let you. So just so you know that. Uh, the machine, the, the bot doesn't wanna work too hard. Um, Let's see, Michael saying, I found it when looking into Hyatt Point's uh, value last week uh, when I, let's see, when I chose AA, all rooms were $146 a night uh, from basic room to presidential suite. Wow. So I checked my girl's uh, birthday weekend and it was there. It was, okay, so cool. $146 even for the presidential suite. Mmm. Hopefully they honor that. Oh man, yeah. Hopefully they do honor that. That would that would be nice. And realistically, they're not they're not gonna lose out that much um, because those suites are over. We all know the suites are overpriced, and they usually have them that way for a reason, so they can kind of bump up their uh, the the uh, elites, the elite members. Uh, so. You, you, you probably have a good shot at getting that. Let us know, though, Michael. I want to I know how that turns out, uh, if they honor it or not. Uh, okay. Yeah, that, that's good, though, man. You, you, you got lucky on that one. That, you should have put that out. Just slip it my way. Just say, hey, guess what I found? This, this is perfect for, like, a WhatsApp group. You get in there. You book what you want. Like, you, you get in there. You say, oh, yeah, it's available. And then you book it. And then you... Then you get on the WhatsApp group and you say, hey, guys, I just went on and this is what, what I saw. And yeah, I would have done that. I probably would have just flown out to wherever it was just to book it <laughs> and just to stay in a presidential suite for a couple of nights uh, just for the weekend. OK. All right, guys, we're going to have to uh, wrap this up. Let's see. Uh, my birthday is the 27th. Uh, we brothers. Yeah, Julio. Yeah. 27th and 28th. So yeah, you know that marathon sounds good. I, I'm I'm gonna do that. I, I've been I was meaning to do a marathon anyway, 
but uh, do like a marathon live stream I think would be cool uh, every day just jump on and uh, and just uh, do live streams and then work it up to that road to 10,000 and we should be we're gonna be close regardless but it's gonna take some work <laughs> let's just put it that way uh, getting to 10,000 uh, I think I'm on the road right now to about 9,000. So we still need about 10,000 to go. <laughs> or 10,000, I'm sorry. We still need about 1,000 to go. But uh, that's all over time, of course. So as long as we, we get a steady stream of people coming in and, and, and uh, subscribing to the channel, then I think we'll be fine. And I'm putting it out there to you guys, too. If you guys have friends, family members, subs have them subscribe to the channel. And... Uh, or subscribe for them. Just get their phone. A lot of my friends, this is crazy, but a lot of my friends, they don't support. Like, they don't even, they know that I do YouTube, but they don't, they don't care. Like, whatever. So I'll get their phone sometimes. It's like, hey, let me see your phone. Uh, go on YouTube, hit subscribe. <laughs> and yeah, that, but uh, yeah, a lot of them, they'll either tease me because I'm doing it, or they just won't say anything about it, and they, they can just care less. So, yeah, so family members, friends, tell them about what we're talking about in here, and and have them subscribe to the channel, or just get on there and subscribe for them. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. You age my student loans accounts, drop my score. Okay. All right, so that's Braveheart saying that he rearranged his... Uh, uh, his student loan accounts and it dropped his score. So that's cool. That's cool. Uh, pay off those loans. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, I, I have student loans too. I'm still paying off my student loans. Those things are, there's a lot of, yeah, that, you pay a lot of money to go to school. And I went out of state too, so I was paying a, a pretty penny for a little while until I was able to to get residency. But yeah, it's it's not cheap. Let's see, I have two UPS boxes and they are amazing. You'll love it. Yeah, that, that's what I was looking at, UPS boxes. My thing with, with uh, and I don't know, maybe P, P, he bleh, maybe PO boxes have changed, but I had a PO box uh, about three years ago and I don't like the fact that I don't get notified if I have mail and I don't wanna have to just go look all the time. I, I wanna get notified. So. I think UPS does that. The last I checked, I did a little research uh, when I was thinking about switching over, and I think they allow you to, like, you can get a notification if you do have a package. So that's something that I, that I would, uh, that's something that I want. So hopefully that, hopefully they still do that. If not, then yeah, I'll, I, I'm still gonna get UPS over, uh, over uh, the PO boxes. Let's see. Uh, I was going to let people know the next day, uh, but it was gone already. That's cool, man. No, re no worries. But like I said, what's, I don't know if you're in the WhatsApp group, but you should be. But if you're in the WhatsApp group, you can put it on any time of the night, and there's going to be somebody awake, and they'll look into it. Uh, let's see. David's saying that uh, UPS emails uh, and texts me when I have stuff come. Yeah, that's cool. See, now that's what I want. Like, I want to get that notification. That way I know, and then I can go pick up stuff. Uh, I didn't like the fact that, that uh, the, the post office didn't do that. Uh, so that was my main issue. All right, guys, uh, any other questions? And we have 19 people in the room. So if you have not liked the video, please do so. So we'll hit 50. We're at 47 right now. So we're right there. So if we get at least two more, then we'll hit 50 because I'll jump in and make the... Actually, I could do it right now. Make the, the 50th. 50th here so we'll wait a couple more minutes to see if anyone has any other questions and I appreciate you guys all stopping by I know it was impromptu I just kind of got on here uh, it was oh, I hope this isn't playing um, but I just wanted to show some new like not show some new stuff but uh, see if all this stuff was working properly and let me stop oh, oh okay it doesn't show that's good uh, let me let me stop this commercial here. If you've been thinking oh, about God. getting life insurance, you oh, should check stop, out Ladder. Stop. Okay, good. All right, 47, 48. I just like my video. There it goes. Um, 
Yeah, I just wanted to come on, make sure that this scroll thing is working. I'm hoping that the, the audio and everything is in sync. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, just wanted to make sure everything was working properly, and it is, and then we were able to talk. And like I said, I just I enjoy coming and doing live streams because we can just we can just talk and yeah, we can talk about travel and travel award credit cards, which is uh, which is a good thing. I realize it's 11:30 here, which means it's really late on the East Coast, and I'm surprised there's still probably some people up. <laughs> there's no Anthony right here. Damn, I took a nap and woke up. He's still up. <laughs> great work. Yeah, uh, you're still on. Keep up the great work. Yeah, I'm getting ready to get off now, uh, Anthony. Uh, sorry that I woke you up. <laughs> you probably heard me in the background somewhere. Uh, let's see. David wants this uh, to go on for another hour uh, so he can pull further away from Dolly. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I get it now. Oh, God. It's, you know, it's getting late. I'm starting to. Yeah, David wants the hours just to keep going on so he can, <laughs> he can get more and more, more and more, more and more uh, points there. All right, guys, we are going to we are going to uh, call it, though. Uh, please, uh, if you guys are in here and you have not done so on your way out, please hit the like button. And uh, thank you guys all for stopping by. <laughs> David said I won't confirm or deny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So if you guys are on the way out, just uh, please hit the like button and we will be back on tomorrow. Uh, Braveheart will be on here. I see him in the room. I, I don't. Did you respond to me already? I said uh, we were talking back and forth earlier. I don't know if he responded or not. But, uh, yeah, he's laughing. He's laughing. Yeah, we'll, we'll get something going tomorrow. Um, so he'll be on the show tomorrow. And then uh, next, next Saturday we'll do another live stream. And I'll be putting out videos. As a matter of fact, uh, when I shoot some videos, I'll probably shoot some videos tomorrow. Uh, shoot some videos, and then I'll have some videos coming out every day. So we'll do the everyday thing. Uh, let me know, too, uh, as far as what you guys like. I'm doing kind of two things. I'm doing the reviews of credit cards, and then I'm still doing... I like actually doing the just kind of sit down, just talk about different things when it comes to travel credit cards, uh, or just credit cards in general, or just things that come up, kind of uh, the way that I see things, you know, like... Uh, I did a couple of videos on, or did the video on the auto pay, like why I don't use auto pay. Uh, there's some other ideas that I have. Uh, someone raised a good question uh, that I'll be doing a video about. Um, so just different things like that. If you guys like those videos, that style of video where I'm mainly telling you my point of view when it comes to doing different things, uh, please let me know. And the best way to let me know is, is in the comments section of the video. Just let me know, hey, that was good, I like that. Uh, maybe you should do one on this, that kind of stuff. Uh, I like doing the reviews, but let's face it, the reviews are kind of boring and they're kind of played out. There's nothing really new about them. Uh, I'm just going over the, the card. And then I usually do put in my opinion at the very end. Uh, but for the m majority of the video, it's just, okay, this card gets you 50,000 signup bonus, which, you know, 10 other YouTubers that do the travel credit card thing say the same thing. So... Uh, when you get kind of my I, my point of view when it comes to these different ways of doing things, uh, that might uh, you might like that more. So let me know. Uh, let's see. TC, your personal opinion of vids are the best. Okay, that's David saying that. <laughs> you passed up Dolly your second. Who did? Michael did. Uh oh. All right, guys. Time to give Dolly some more points. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And I did take those points back. You saw in the WhatsApp group, I, I, I did uh, put that in there because she didn't actually lose points, but she thought she did. All right, guys. Uh, thank you guys very much for stopping by, and we will be back on uh, tomorrow. So have a good night. Bye.